showbiz this week. This one quickly uh, says, um, Good afternoon, GQ. I'm enjoying the back-to-back hit tunes by Lord Kenya live from Kwashibu. I am Nyamiya Kwa Kwabina Mensa of Yonko TV. Oh, my class prefect. How you doing, man? <laughs> Noella. Hi, 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 George. Where are you going? Why do you always ask me this question? Like, every, every yeah, Saturday... Today, there's yes, a different <laughs> level, though. <laughs> so what we do, have a date tonight, what, what, what do you call what you're wearing? Oh, off-shoulder jeans. It's just an off-shoulder top and a jeans. Off what? Off-shoulder. The devil is a liar. <laughs> 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 All right, um, what is in showbiz this week? All right, guys. You're welcome to showbiz this week right here on Showbiz A to Z. Basically, what we do here is to sample all the stories, big stories that uh, you missed out on during the week, and we bring it to you in a package right here on Joy 99.75. So uh, this week, George, just like the mm-hmm. NPC did uh, a few weeks ago, yeah. The National Democratic uh, Congress launched the uh, 2020 manifesto ahead of the December 6th polls. And uh, after listening to the concerns of creative industry players, the NDC has identified 17 ways mm. to address these concerns. Now, they outlined a number of policies to confront the challenges and solidify the country's you know, creative arts industry. Yeah. So you want to listen to this? All right. Let's listen to that. Build modern theaters and studios for the development and promotion of the creative arts. Complete feasibility and continue the implementation of a specialized sport on the eastern seaboard of our country. And that refers to Keta. Construct a multi-purpose convention and exhibition center aimed at repositioning Ghana as West Africa's destination for meetings, conferences, and exhibitions. Refurbish the National Theatre. Upgrade NAFTI into a fully fledged multimedia university for film, art, theatre, and music. Upgrade the National Sports College into a state of the art sports university to serve the West African sub region. Provide sports development facilities across the region, including stadia, mini stadia, and uh, other facilities. Upgrade infrastructure linking to tourism sites. Complete and operationalize the Swami and Dawa industrial parks. Establish new industrial parks and free zones in the industry deprived regions. And now, ex President John Dramani Mahama uh, reading the manifesto's bit on creative art at the launch. But uh, all 17 promises weren't captured in that voice. I'll quickly read through the rest mm. of it. So, one is uh, to implement programs to support the growth of the film, music, and creative industry to drive job creation and economic growth. Uh, second one is to resource nationally recognized creative arts bodies like the Ghana Association of Writers, Music National Film Authority, Ghana Union of Visual Arts, GAVA, amongst others. Strengthen regulations to protect the copyright of artists and ensure that they get value for their works by enforcing the payment of user fees under the copyright regulations. 2010 LI 1962 uh, set up a system of legal aid for creative artists to help fight creative intellectual theft and plagiarism by others. Pass the creative industry bill into law and implement it to promote the development of the industry resource the national museums and uh, empower them to function properly and create space for exhibitions. Promote local patronage of various creative products, uh, partner with GAVA and other fine art associations to purchase their finished work and finish uh, to furnish and decorate public offices to support the fine art businesses. And uh, nine, the ninth promise is through the National Film Authority encourage our embassies overseas to purchase and uh, periodically show appropriate Ghanaian films on Ghana Day and other special occasions. In collaboration with the Ghana Association of Writers, establish a national writing contest and support the promotion of the best literary works. 11. Provide seed money for the creation of a special fund for artists, including aged and needy creative artists. 12. Make available scholarship packages for disadvantaged uh, creative artists to pursue courses or programs for self-development in the national interest. 13. 
facilitate the enrollment of creative artists onto the inf uh, the informal pension scheme, uh, develop programs to harness talent and potentials in the industry. Fifteen, structure the educational curriculum to allow students to appreciate the relevance of culture and creative arts in life and national development. Sixteen is to promote district, regional, national competitions in the creatives amongst the youth and tertiary uh, institutions. And seventeen to facilitate the placement of creative art product on digital platforms for promotional purposes. And that's all the 17 uh, promises made by the NDC. Mm. Are these promises feasible? Mm. And will the NDC be able to fulfill all promises? Should they come to power? Well, I don't have the answer. We're going to delve deep uh, yeah, into that on yeah, Showbiz exactly. HZ this afternoon. Exactly. Oh, yes. So yes. Uh, you know the interesting thing? Tell me. In 2012, uh, mm -hmm. they had 26 promises for the creatives. And, and, and this in 2016, uh -huh. they reduced it to 19. 19. Now it's just... 17. Uh, well, maybe maybe also, they want to cut their quota. Actually, when you sizes. go deep into the one they have mm -hmm. this year, it's actually like 12, not even up to 17. But we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> dig into it. Yeah, really. Right. So uh, let's move on to some other stories. And yeah. On Wednesday, George, Member of Parliament, uh, Public Accounts uh, Committee, mm -hmm. Luberak, during the committee's sitting, alleged that state-owned Exim Bank paid musician Shatawali a whooping Two million Ghana cities to work as its brand ambassador. Mm. QCD, if you ask me. Well, Mr. Mubarak also claimed a check has been issued uh, to the musician to that effect. Now, in a quick response, Deputy CEO of the bank, Kwame Edudakwa, said he's unaware of such payment, adding that they only engaged a communications consultancy firm to brand the affair. Build modern theatres and studios for the development and promotion of the creative arts. Yeah, promoting made Complete in Ghana, visibility and continue. Very good artist, Nanam Pedu, Kojo Entry, you know, Nakorex, you name them. In this instance, you gave money to Shatawali. Honorable um, Chairman, uh, no, not at all. As far as I'm concerned, it is a media campaign that we're running with a consultant. You'll be surprised how brand ambassadors can be good in promoting um, a particular sector. Sometimes what needs to be done is that if we've done incredible work, it will be good for people to know what is being done. It will be good for people to know what their options are. And having a good brand ambassador to sell that story it makes sense. So if the brand ambassador is an actor, so be it. If the brand ambassador is a, um, uh, the Ghana Black Star, so be it. If the brand ambassador is a, is a singer of influence, that's good business. So the, the consultant hasn't given, or uh, your institution, Ghana Exim, hasn't issued a check of 2 million Ghana cities to Shatawali. Honorable Chairman, um, I can confirm that um, as Deputy CEO Finance of Exim Bank, I have not signed or have not seen a check signed for 2 million dollars or 2 million cities to, um, to any artist that you might have mentioned. So if it is confirmed that you sign a check of 2 million for an artist, either signed by you or from your outfit, uh, would you uh, believe that that check is really coming from your outfit? Honorable Chairman, if there's a check that's shown to me from Exim Bank, certainly I'll believe it. But uh, what I can say is that as Deputy CEO of Finance, I have not seen or signed a check for that amount. We'll work on that, and then we'll call you again to appear. Thank if you. We will have the the details. Now, Ras Mubarak, his MP for Kumbugu, also believes that money could have served a better purpose, like, you know, investing in provisions of water and other basic amenities for rural communities and giving all that money to one individual. And this is not to say that we have a problem with Satawali getting some amount of money to do whatever work. Exim gives them, but the Ghanaian public deserve to know how much went out, who got it. This is public funds. If you're giving two million cities to an artist, what is the basis for selecting that particular artist? If it were your money, would you actually be spending two million Ghana cities? As somebody who's had, you know, uh, interactions with a lot of artists, obviously artists have to be paid for their intellectual property, their creativity, you know, but you ask yourself whether two million Ghana cities 
is a judicial use of public funds. I am completely not convinced that you know this is how we should be spending the people's money, especially you know at a time when we are all tightening our belt, when we are living under dire straits or conditions, when government is struggling to find money to do basic things. As we speak, there are still Ghanaian kids who don't have access to schools at the primary level. Healthcare is a problem. So it's two million Ghana cities actually a best way of you know having an ambassador promote the work that Ghana Exim does. You know, these are things that as representatives of the people we should be concerned about. Apart from the Shasha only one, you have a sense that others have gotten money in the creative industry. There have been stories about a Jaku and others. I don't know about a Jaku, but you know, in respect of Shatawali, that is what my briefing tells me. We heard Ras Mubarak speaking to join <laughs> uh Joseph of Cruz Castle. And for him, he thinks that money could have served a better purpose. And I find that pretty insulting, actually. But we'll delve we'll into, into it when that. we get talking. Right. Yeah. Well, the story doesn't actually end here, especially because it raised a lot of eyebrows, you know, caught in the bank to further release a statement to debunk claims of its pay in Shatta an amount of 2 million cities and apparently an additional 250,000 cities to Akta Ijako for your work as brand ambassadors. Indeed, and we have signed contract with... So, uh, you were not supposed to play that yet. Yeah, go ahead. But go ahead. Uh, sorry, also sorry. on Newsnight, uh, Evan Smith has spoke with the bank's director of corporate affairs, uh, who's Mr. Richard Anane, and the outcome of that interview is what you're about to listen to. Indeed, we have signed contract with the two artists who are renowned in their own field, but they have not even started their rules. But have you paid them anything? For the fact that it's a contractual agreement between two parties, even as we are a bank, we cannot disclose any content. But all that we want to state is that the amount quoted is not correct. Okay, so if it's not correct, then what is it? I can't disclose it because of contractual obligations. Here's the thing, though. Just it's not a private bank. This is the People's Bank. And it's become a subject of parliamentary scrutiny. And you've deemed it fit to issue a statement. But the core controversy revolves how much? And you say, I can't disclose it. You won't even give me a percentage. You won't even tell me whether you paid out or not. Um, Per the contract agreement, we are mandated to pay 15%. Upfront. And you pay the remainder? Yes, throughout the year, based on deliverables. Right, this is normal. The entire 100% of the, of the cost to Shatawale, does it amount to 2 million? It does not. If you are giving the public funds to Shatawale and Yajako, then we must see results. What are you using to measure that? To say Yajako or Shatawale is justified to take the amount you're giving them? Yes, they are going to perform a lot of programs. That we, 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 we are very certain that is going to boost sales of most of the clients that we have financed. You said that you, you fulfilled the procurement regulations. Yes. What was the process? You have to apply to the public procurement authority with a justification as to why you, you want to engage certain service providers. And we did go through that. And the public procurement authority gave you the go-ahead to engage Shatawali and others? What I can tell you is that we have passed through every due process. The Public Accounts Committee is set to probe this. Obviously ready to cooperate and provide the evidence when asked. We are a public institution and we are answerable to public institutions. are a public institution and we are answerable to public institutions, says the uh, Director of Corporate Affairs at Exim Bank, Mr. Richard Annani. So, that's, uh, like I said, uh, George and his able panelists, Uncle Ken uh, yeah. and Sidney yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole would get yeah. into uh, the story proper, so you might want um, to... <coughs> can stay. Uncle Ken, good Uncle Ken, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And, and on the note you ended, yeah. On, mm. My uh, one of my nep- uh, nieces, yeah, has been battling with me about why we have two panelists in Sadiq and Kwame Ajumanbeko mm. who have made their intentions so clear on this show. 
for the advancement of women in the in this industry yeah. and elsewhere. Mm-hmm. And they ask me, why have we refused to retain <laughs> Luella as a panelist? Well, and, tell them we've been trying. Noella doesn't like to stay. I don't know where yeah, Noella goes bye. to after the yeah, show. <laughs> Noella, today you're staying. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a done deal. No. Today she's staying. No Fortunately, after 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 the show today, Noella is going to do a voiceover for me. So ah. so so she's staying. Yeah. That's, so you yes. worked on that. Yes. Thank so Noella is staying. Yes. So she's I'm staying. Happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. Noella is staying. Yeah. This matter has been resolved. Exactly. It's resolved. Uncle Ken. I've been tested, <laughs> and that we've been too. M- masculine, eh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> On Noel- the show. Uncle Ken, it's sorted. Don't worry. Noella right. is saying today. Noella, right. so what next? Right. So uh, let's talk about Stone Boy now because he has uh, distanced himself uh, from reports that he has endorsed NDC's promise to legalize commercial motorbikes. Mm. Uh, that's a cutter. And now uh, this, ca- this came actually after a video of the dance hall artist riding an Okada. And that video went viral. I don't know, George, if you saw that video. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Well, saw for those it. of you that didn't see it, he has sound. Uh, he has sound excerpts of that. Yo, sometimes you need to join the Okada, Charlie. Yo, what's up? What's up? Too much topic, my guy. Yo, Okada is good for the people. Ah. <laughs> Simon, boy. Hey, please. Yeah, dear. Hold the phone, counselor. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No time. I have to go to Okada because too much stuff is running out. In front of you, so guys, you should never be so bad. of uh, that viral video I was talking about. However, Stoneboy wrote on Twitter that his, uh, you know, that's actually a three-year-old video. Mm-hmm. So let me quickly just, you know, read through yeah. that um, tweet. So he says, my attention has been drawn to a three-year-old video of me riding on an Okada, which has been publicized as an endorsement for a political party. I disassociate myself from this. Simple and short. Yeah. And that's it. Let's do some international news now. And ooh, I've got some bad news. Uh-oh. Or sad news, actually. Uh-oh. Not bad. Uh-oh. For reality TV lovers. What happened? So, uh, <laughs> keeping up with the Kardashians. Yes, I heard. <laughs> Which is one of the longest running TV 14 reality years, shows. years, right? 14 yeah, 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 right. yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's coming to an end. And uh, this was announced by Kim Kardashian by her social media page. And the final... Uh, 21st season, we understand, will be shown uh, next year, early next year. Mm. So uh, it's it's some sad news, especially oh for dear. people like me. But you know, most when the, when the show started in 2007, most people didn't know, you know, members of the family. Yeah. Apart from Kim, because Kim was friends with yeah. Paris, uh, Paris Hilton, yeah. and she featured in her, you know, reality shows as it went. Uh, so she, she was the only one known, as well as her father, yeah. who at the time was representing O.J. Simpson. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, it also showed focus on the lives of uh, her sisters, Courtney, Chloe, and their partners, including Courtney's ex-boyfriend Scott Stasek, Kim's ex-husband Chris Humphreys, whom she got divorced from after 72 days of marriage. <laughs> really interesting. And Chloe's ex-husband Lamar Odum, who has remarried, by the way, to an athlete. Actually, uh, it eventually brought in Momija Chris Jenner, uh, her now ex husband Caitlyn Jenner, who we saw, you know, through the show trans- transform, or should I say, um, transition from, yeah, a man from a man to a woman. To a woman. And uh, yeah, finally, all that is coming to an end. But I think it's long overdue, if you ask me, because uh, in your 20th season, the final, the, the last but one. Episodes, I I saw you know Courtney complain a lot about how the show has gotten into her yeah. privacy and yeah. all of that, and that yeah. actually that conversation made her get into a physical, you know, mm. got into an altercation with Kim, and it was pretty sad. So I think it's long overdue. The fact is that they've made everything they can make out yeah, of that show. Yeah, the show yeah. has made them wealthy yeah. people, made them celebrities, made them stars. Really, what else is there to be done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's good news for me if yeah. you ask me. But it's all right. For all ye Big Brother Niger fanatics, 
News is drum roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Erica got disqualified. <laughs> For doing Wait, what? Do you watch it? No, I don't. Oh. I, 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 I I feel so alien here. I, I don't okay, feel you alien. Watch. I honestly, <laughs> um, I, I honestly, uh, Uncle Ken, you talk. Okay. I actually do watch Aww. certain bits uh-huh. of Big Brother. As in highlight. And you know why? Why? Tell because me. Because with the inception of Big Brother Africa, back in the day, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we were made to discuss Big Brother Africa on yeah. this show. Yeah. Okay. So it was incumbent on me to yeah, watch yeah. Yeah. Big Brother and come and discuss on this show. I see. So that's what got me interested in Big Brother. I yeah. see. But over the years, I don't watch as much as I did back then. in the day. Right. Back in the day. Right. I watch only impo- I only watch the eviction. Yeah. The nomination, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Oh, that's that's so. I have an idea what's going, what's going on, on, and I read right. about it on social media, right? So, well. for those of you who do not have an idea or didn't, you know, missed out on last week's, you know, action, mm. well, Erica got disqualified after breaking almost all biggest rules. I mean, she had two strikes. Uh, and a strong warning from previous days, mm-hmm. and quite ironically, the very week she was head of house and got immunity from being evicted, mm-hmm. she broke rules exactly and got disqualified. So mm. uh, that's the sad news for most of her elite fans. That's what she calls her fans, elite. Elite. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> yeah, Erica. She go but I have for Nengi anyway. So. You for who? Nengi. Oh. On, on that note, thank you very much. <laughs> And that is Noella Carignale with um, Showbiz this week. We didn't go into the trends. We don't have time. Okay. But um, um, don't worry. Noella is staying with us till the end of the show today. So maybe at some point in the show, we'll see if we can delve into what's trending. It's yes. 0244340437. You're tuned into Joy 99.7 at Showbiz A to Z. We're just about to have a very, 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 very interesting conversation with this man. The King of Pants On. Sending your votes now. Assassin Sound Clash is proudly sponsored by Svani Group Limited and supported by NLA, Ghana Tourism Authority. Visit Ghana and Ministry of Health. Assassin Sound Clash. A clash to crush COVID. Hey, I'm a Miss Ene. Why be a Miss Real deal, package and casa. Tall, dark, pink lips. 
Thomas Club with six pack. Handsome with designer clothes and shoes, Papa B. Girl, he wasn't playing at all. Hey, I'd that. I was eyeing him the whole time. Sonia Mitchell, I strategically positioned myself in front of him. <laughs> and then he opened his mouth and said hello. Oh, we're ready. And Capelli. Hey, oh, slow. Ah. Don't let this happen to you. Use the new blue close-up cool breeze toothpaste. It comes with a new minty flavor for long-lasting fresh bread. Stay fresh with Cool Breeze, because blue is the new cool. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Brace yourself for the new viewing experience. It's back-to-back -back on Joy Prime. Joy Prime presents the stars. Rebelly Barrington. Bedroom Commando. Let's get connected. From ideas to legacy. Business Connect. Business Connect. Time to share your stories. Our roving reporters are moving across Ghana, sharing the stories of the people. Roving. Get the facts and in-depth analysis with the big personalities on the record. With me, Daniel David. Now, we be stressed in the boardroom. One day, there was a voice. It's the correct pronunciation of things. I am Sally Galifiao, and I invite you to share your views with me on opinion. The drama, lifestyle, news, touching stories, comedy, and all the action back to back on Joy Prime on Multi TV, Gear TV Channel 281, and Go TV Channel 185. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies. Nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort Cran and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salaries, mundane, is survival oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive. A growth path is clear, and you can build step by step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business. Accidents do happen. It could be a motor accident, a sudden heart attack, or even a stroke, or any other health emergency. The first steps you take are very critical. Should you be involved in or witness an accident, call 112 for the fastest ambulance response. With over 300 well-equipped ambulances all over Ghana, you are assured of the fastest response to your emergency call. Call 112 during critical health emergencies and save your life and that of your family and loved ones. 112, help will come. 112, we are safe. Avoid prank calls as they can lead to loss of life of persons in actual need of help. Be a responsible citizen.
The station is joined at 9.7 FM. The show is Showbiz A to Z. Probably brought to you by Ghana's most reliable mobile telecommunications company limited, that's MTN. Don't forget to choose your own bundle, your own way with MTN Flex Bundle. Just dial star 138 hash and enjoy bundles that do not expire. So the man is here. Kwame A+. Plus. Yes. And we're just about to delve into the conversation But you know what's going to happen tomorrow, right? The footballers may meet at the park Or two guys at the adjoined church folk Who share the grace, friends and family May come home to visit but now with MTN Sunday special, your Sunday has just got a lot more exciting. For only 54 pesos, you can talk and text all day every Sunday. Now, if you pushed it up to 189 pesos, you could talk the whole day and get a cool 20 megabytes of data. Now, here's where it gets even more exciting. For just 20 CDs and 17 pesos, you can call all other network all day plus. 50 megabytes of data. So who is it you love talking to? Is it mom, dad, sis, bro? All that special somebody. Just keep talking all day every Sunday. What MTN Sunday special? Send yes to MTN short code 5050. Sign up on MTN. That's why we're good together. We day for you. Everywhere you go. Minya. How are you doing, sir? Welcome to the studios of Joy 99.7. Your voice uh, is an audio. Eh? Your voice is an audio. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> eh? A plus. I don't know what you're talking about. Do what are you talking about? Do your voice like the way you have been doing the express. You know? Which one? The late night express? Yes. But this is not late night express. Aye. Or you just want to? Uh, uh, you listen to him. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Plus, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I see a lot of. Do you do you move our your security detail is more than President's uh, uh, Trump zone? Me, we are, we are friends. We are oh, all, you're just friends. We are oh, okay. Moving together. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting because um, I, I've seen a lot of very fine young men and um, very able-bodied like myself around you. So I was wondering. <laughs> you, you, you are very vocal. I mean, you say things that. A lot of people wouldn't even dream of saying. Yeah. Uh, do you sometimes fear for your life or for your family? Uh, do you feel somebody might come after you? Mm, yeah, there is, there is, we are not fearless, but uh, there is different between caution and fear. Mm, anything is possible. Has there you ever been a the time? The person is thinking so. So, you know, you, you always have to be careful. And especially when you receive plenty... I will do you this, I will do you that, it, especially on social media. You don't mm. know who is serious. I, I just watched a video of a man who was threatening to kill his wife. And, and he actually carried it out. And he actually carried it out. So you don't want to take chances. So you get a lot of threats. Yeah. yeah. What do people threaten you for? Oh, those, uh, those are just... Uh, I, even though I don't uh, take them serious, I, I, I'm always ready for them. Uh, especially when they threaten you, uh, like uh, uh, I will kill you when I meet you. I will do that. Especially when you know when when it's against their political party, yeah, it's normal. We have seen, we have experienced this for years, so like it's very normal. Do people know you're a comedian? Uh, some, especially those who know I'm fancy. Oh, so even it's a general fancy thing. Eh? Oh, so Let me greet Fred Darko. And Kofi Kenata. And Kofi Kenata. You know, the first time I did uh, a thousand and. Yeah, I think it was a thousand and seven. No, yeah. the first time. The first one. Yeah, a thousand and seven. And I came music, to yeah. Chatterhouse to meet. Who was in charge then? Fred I think it was Fred. Or, Fred yeah. and Niaite. I said, Are you sure you can. Niai? Yeah, Niai. Are you sure you can do this show? I said, Yes. So, what, what, what makes you. Think you can do it? I said because I'm funny. <laughs> qualify for this. Show. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So you have left comedy. Yes. You have left music. Yes. Why? I am. Uh, I'm pursuing happiness. Uh, what do you mean by that? Yes. Uh, it, it is our right as citizens of this country enshrined in the constitution mm. to be happy. I think that there are too many people who are not happy. 
who don't know how to be happy, who don't know that the constitution of Ghana states clearly that the government must make you happy and give you employment and give you education. And so the rest of my life is about ensuring that we are happy as, as Ghanaians. I, I've done my bit in show business. I performed with uh, with uh, Michael Blankson. Yeah. Uh, I I performed with uh, Clint the Drunk. I pe yeah. performed with Basket Mart. Uh, I I've I have had interviews on BBC. I've been a panelist on BBC Africa. Have you seen? Right. I've 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 uh, had a doc. Uh, 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 how do you call it? Uh, a National Geographic documentary with uh, uh, University of Barcelona with 12 professors coming all the way to use my song as a case study. It's, it, now I want to pursue something different. What different do you want to pursue? I want us to come together as Kenyans and enjoy our rights. I think that this country has has slept for far too long and so many so many things must change. I want us to come together and think about how we can build this country. It is, it is, this is the only country we have, and it is our right. It is in the con Everything that I'm saying to you now is in the Constitution, that we have to fight corruption. Mm -hmm. We have to fight uh, people who want to steal and destroy state property. We have to fight them. It's in the Constitution. Um, it, I think that we also have to spend the rest of our lives fighting for social w welfare for the people. We cannot live in a country where... Women give birth like, like animals, get pregnant like animals and give birth like animals and everybody is quiet. We cannot live in such a country. We cannot live in a country where human beings and animals drink water from the same pond, but people will find it prudent to demonstrate because of a social media comment. No, this country, the direction that this country is going, everybody in this country knows that people and animals drink water from the same pond. Children school under trees. People, people, eh, 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 uh, uh, women give birth on the bare floor. There are so many places where people live like Paleolithic era human beings. And everything is okay. Yeah, that is not a problem. They can demonstrate because of a social media comment. I want to spend the rest of my life fighting NDC and NPP. If that is how I die, it's fine. But this system... You have gone somewhere that I find interesting. You yes. want to spend the rest of your life fighting NDC and, and NPP. Yes. Are you not NPP? No, no, no. I, I, I used to sympathize with NPP. Mm -hmm. You campaigned for the NPP four years ago. In fact, yes. you've been campaigning for the NPP since President Kufour's time. No, that is not true. That is, a, that is, that is very wrong. In President Kufour's mm -hmm. time, if you remember, in 2007, I did Ubin campaign. Okay, I remember. I remember. So it was from 2012 then? It, oh. was, it was from 20, 2008. Okay. Yes, when I supported Nana Dudanko. Okay. Kufour. But um, what I have noticed is that we live in a country where NDC and NPP are the same. And they, it is the fact, even though they don't want to hear it, that mm. is the fact. And people say that, oh, you campaign for, for uh, uh, how do you call it? You campaign for NDC, so why are you complaining? Uh, you campaign for NPP. NPP, yeah. Why, that's you uh, why you know, exactly. God created this whole world and told us in the Bible that he regretted creating the world. So I can't vote and regret. God, the Alpha and Omega didn't know what was ahead. Are you saying you regret ever supporting or Any sympathizing with the NPP? Supporting from day one, we had to fight for Ghana. It's in the Constitution. The Constitution states clearly that the government must support people who are in 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 order to be able to promote the image of Ghana and 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 developmental uh, uh, projects. So so it is something that we have to do. We have we are, we have to fight for this country. This country is blessed with so much. When there did you realize this? It, there are too many criminals in this. Hold on. At which point did you realize that? At the same point where we God, were being God led astray. It, it was at the same point that God realized that he has regretted creating human beings. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. But at which point? Now, because just about four years ago, yeah. you were you were gathering all of us. Yes, uh, the creative arts for change and all that. People for? We are gathering people for a real change. We wanted change. We wanted change. We believed in everything that was being said. We believe that it was not right for John Muhammad to, to run a family and friends government. We believe that it was not ra right for John Muhammad to have 87 ministers. There were too many. We believed in so many things. And now we come and we have more than that. At that point, you have to know. And that is why, out of all the people, there are so many people who say, oh, but the MPP gave you a job. It is in the Constitution that the government must make me happy. The government must give me employment. So if you come to power, you must give me employment. I must be employed. And you cannot tell me that because I'm employed. The Constitution does not state that 
if you give me employment, I have to keep quiet and chop. And when something is not right, I can't talk about it. Oh. And so even at the point where the government uh, 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 fulfilled its part of the social contract by giving me employment, I was still telling you what was right and what was wrong. And the government didn't see, didn't, the, the government does not understand why you can have a job and have a voice. Once you have a job, shut up and chop. And that, it's not only MPP. Yeah. It is both NDC and MPP. And so we, it, it is something that everybody in this country must support to fight that. Kwame must have a job and have the right to say what he wants to say. Hallelujah. Your boss, Kwesi Chum, owns this station and all the media houses that you can think of. He does not have a voice. I have a voice more than Kwesi Chum. Kwesi Chum is scared to speak in Ghana that dollar is, is, a city is depreciated. He cannot say it. How can you live in a country where somebody like Kwesi Chum does not have a voice? Also, despite has all the media, despite dare not. That's why he does not have a voice in this country. He's scared. Why? Because they have jobs. Why must we live in a country where when A plus is given a contract at bust, now he can't speak again? The constitution says we must fight against corruption. And we are going to fight. And that makes me very angry. And I don't know why people don't want to understand that. If you give me a job, and because I express my right to freedom of expression, you take my job. I must get angry. And so he's angry because they have taken his job. You want me to smile? So you're angry. So all this. Is it because the job was taken away from you? It is part. It has to be part. Why was my job taken away from you? What did you do? Because I like talking too much. Because when Mm -hmm. something is wrong, I talk about it. What do you say to those who say you weren't qualified for the job? Did they they, they bring the requirements? Those people, are they the ones who who gave me requirements for the job? What what exactly were you doing at Boston? Oh, haulage. Haulage of fuel. And they give you a requirement at Boston that we want A, B, C, E, D. So you just so if you say I'm not qualified, are you the one who, who... Why did they take it away from you? Oh, because I was cr- accusing people of corruption and, and all. And they don't like it like that. That is Ghana. Once you have a job, keep quiet and chop, like I've said to you already. Uh-huh. And, so, and it is very wrong. We cannot live in such a society. People must be free. So are you saying that, in your opinion, you yes. feel people are given political positions course, just to course. silence of them course, or yes, to yes. satisfy and, them and, for supporting and, the party? And that is why they see right and wrong through political lenses. When they are in opposition... Uh, Don Mahama has 87 ministers, and that is what is going to kill the whole Ghana. But when they come to power, Nakufu Adua has 125, it is normal. Just because now they have a job, they cannot talk. Let me pick your mind on certain things that have yes. come up recently. Um, what do you make of this Ejapa deal to start with? Ejapa deal, I hear people talking about Ejapa, 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 Ejapa. And I just, I just, yes, they are talking about it, it's good. But you see, George, the things that are happening in this country, this is Japan thing is, is concerto. Oh, yes, I'm telling you. I hear people talking about Japan, Japan, Japan. This is Japan thing that they are talking about. It's, my main issue is that if you want to mortgage, if you want to take all our mineral resources uh-huh. and give it to a company to be able to uh, invest it and give us. Uh, how do you call it? Return to Returns the so yeah. that we can use it for development, or you are going to uh, 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 use it as collateral for a certain money to do whatever. It's fine. It's a good. It's a good idea. initiative. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a good initiative. Who and who are behind the company? You cannot take something that belongs to thirty million people, give it to somebody to run that we do not know the people. We have to know the people. So that's the Ejapa deal. But you see, there are too many things that are happening that, that... You see, I don't talk about this Ejapa thing. When uh-huh. it came, I have not spoken about it. It makes so many people happy. They don't want so, you to so, talk so about it. Your, your biggest problem with that one is that we should know We should know it. everything about it. Mm. We should know everything. Mm. Now, forget about this Ejapa deal. Go to Ghana Airport. That's where, that's where the issue is. People are talking about Ejapa, Ejapa. Go to Ghana Airport. Which issue is the, the airport? The president stated clearly that... And I'm talking to the MD of Ghana Airport Company. That's why I post on Facebook that I have a message for him. I'm talking to him. The president stated clearly that before you enter Ghana, you should have been tested for COVID-19 and, and have a negative yeah. re- report. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Good. Now, they know for a fact that you are coming to this country with negative. You are negative. That is the only condition on which the airline will even pick you from where you are to bring you into Ghana. Uh-huh. So you are negative. Is that correct? Yeah. When you get back to Ghana, the government said they want to test you again. So we'll pay $150 per person. Which uh, is happening in other countries too? I, I, I don't care about other countries. Yeah. I don't care about the other countries. They have street light, they have water. I don't care about them. I'm talking about Ghana, where people drink from the same pond with animals. I'm coming to that. Now, everybody, take your calculator. Let's say 10 airlines come to Ghana every day with 300 passengers. 
just 10 with 300 passengers. Multiply by 10 is 3,000 daily. By 150, how much is that? Mm. 450,000. Is that correct? 450,000. 450,000 dollars every day. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. 450,000 dollars every day. I mean, my math is not good. Though. Yeah, Elon's I, I, gone. Don't worry. Uh-huh. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars every day. Mm-hmm. Multiply by uh, multiply by thirty one is what? Plenty. Give me a pen. Let, let's go on. Give me give me a pen. Multiply by multiply a uh, 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 day four hundred fifty. Multiply by a month. It's I don't know thirteen million. five thirteen point five or so. Yeah. yeah. If you multiply thirteen million five hundred by twelve, you get hundred and sixty two million. Mm-hmm. That is not that is how much they are making from the airport. Now they are telling us that when you come out of the plane, twenty minutes they will test you. Noguchi and Nyaho and all of these people are testing you in two to uh, uh, 24 to 48 hours before you get a result. At the airport, they say 20 minutes they will test you and give you a result. You know why they are doing that? Because they know that you are negative before the airline brought you. So they don't even test. They put something through your nose. Like they maybe far away. They give you when you pass there, you meet them, you get because they know you are negative. Uh, but where is I'm coming? Uh-huh. 20 minutes they say they are giving you a result. You are negative. Go and. They are taking this money from everybody, including Ghanaians, who have gone to suffer in another country to come back. There are people who can pay, so they are at the airport. Yesterday, I sent my boys to go. They are, they are at the airport. They can't pay, so for three days, they are, they are sleeping there. Look, let me tell you something. Eh? Even the evil, the, the, the dictators, eh, how do you call these people? A Roman Empire. Empire eh, how do you call it? Empire. Well, what emperor. Empress. Yeah. Empress in your from Yeah, emperor. Yeah. The kings and the dictators, all these people, they were giving their people happiness. So you see they have a huge arena with two men fighting and people coming to watch for entertainment. So look, you see, even if you want to take money from your people, eh, at least don't tell them to give you 150 because you know the people are negative already. Now that is not the problem. Who is doing that test? Who is in charge of that test? Everybody is talking Japan, 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 Japan. Who is doing that test? It's not Noguchi. It's not Ministry of Health. It's not, it's not, it's not government. Who is doing it? Is it government? Is it Noguchi? Who is doing it? Is it a private company? If it is a private gun company, does it belong to a Ghanaian or it is a foreigner? Who is running that private company? Right? We are not stupid, though. Right? You come and tell me about Papa no bought a house for somebody is legal. Who is in charge of that company? Who is running that thing at the airport? It is who? Who? Who owns it? I get that bit about um, that level of transparency. That it will be good to know. I'm going to tell However, you, yes, who is running no, that business? I, I, if we get this thing to know, plus, hold on one second. Hold Let's on one say second. Let's say Noguchi does on. not have money. Mm-hmm. So you say well, Noguchi does not have. If you give that contract to Noguchi, Noguchi with that contract can raise money from any bank. You know what that money will do for Noguchi? You know the research that we do? Who is in charge? It is the same person who is in charge of our VIP at the airport. Go and do your... Go and, FM, you people, go and do your own investigation. I'm giving you leads. These things must not happen in this country. I have too many friends in MPP. They are my a, friends. Is it a man or a woman? It's a woman. I'm telling you. It, and it, look, it, I have oh, too many friends in MPP. It, it yeah. Hold on. I, I, no, hold on one sec. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Should they give you water? Okay, you have water. Very good. Now... Um, I get the part about um, maybe the the contract and the questions and everything, but I think we should not belabor the point that in our own safety, for everybody's safety, if other countries are doing it, clearly, but when a plane moves, safety? hold on, hold on, I, hold on. I, 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 yeah, oh, but but George, I think me, it, it's, it's about, me, it's about me, me, the reason why, ask me, yeah. uh, ask me, George, you, you are my friend, that's why me have come to you. <laughs> I right? know, I you know. When I open my Facebook live, it's okay people watching. I know. And you and you said that they can come, you're all my brothers. I know, and offer to you I know, I know, I know. Say that thing to the people, this country, we but all need to build this country. So, so in your, no, I was coming to your opinion. So in your opinion, you think at least it should be a little lower for Ghanaians. At least, even if you want to do this whole thing, mm-hmm. take thirty dollars from the people, from Ghanaians, from at least Ghanaians, from citizens, and and and, and the then for foreigners they can the pay time more. That white people came here to steal our gold, a uh, colonial days. Did you hear them stealing their own gold in their own hometown? Do you think that America there is no gold there? Mm-hmm. They came here to take ours. As for us, we don't have love for ourselves. And these are the things that is destroying Nanado's government. So we have to point them out. And as for me, everybody in this country knows that when it comes to Nanado coming places by us, God was if God said, if you look at a woman behind and you feel for her, you are fornicated, you are going to hell. God in heaven. But when David went for somebody's wife, 
<laughs> impregnated the woman, killed the husband. God said he's the only man after his own heart. Me, I'm not more than God. Me too, I have a soft spot for Nanado. His Excellency, the President of Ghana. I have a very soft spot. I love him. I'm, make, I'm making this very clear. But my love has nothing to do with votes. I love my wife more than Nanado. So if it is about love, I have to vote for my wife. Let Amen. us move forward, A+. Plus. Let so, us move forward. I so, like the... So don't just yeah. move forward. Let's just, end, let's just finish this case. <laughs> no, no, this case, is, this case is done. we are talking, yeah. there are people at the airport, airport. who cannot yeah. go home I mean, because government is we... taking 150 from them. And they don't And have somebody, it. and I'm telling the MD of Ghana Airport Company that, you, you go to church. You go and sing hallelujah, hallelujah, go and pray. So look into this matter. It is very important that you look. Don't be giving signs. <laughs> it's very important that you look into this matter. No, tell me. It is very important that you look into this matter. Yeah. There are people at the airport who cannot pay, and so they are sleeping there. Don't tell me about that, it. But that, that, that's interesting. Yeah, no. It is a very serious matter that we are talking about. That's very interesting. Hold no, on. no, we are not mentioning. No, no, the no names have been mentioned. Hey, listen. Yeah. If I say there is corruption going on at the Ghana Airport campaign, I'm talking about an institution. Yeah. Me, I'm, look, I've been in this business for too long. How many people have been sued me? You win. You win. A plus, let's move forward. Yes, now you can move. You mentioned about water and electricity mm. and things that are needed in other rural areas. Recently, there was um, something that came up regarding Exim Bank. And, um, you know, it's part of our discussions when we go into the second part of the mm. show. Mm. Um, where Ras Mubarak um, asserted that um, even if Shatawali were paid an amount of money, I think um, it's been alleged that he was giving about 2 million CDs. Um, it's been asserted that um, uh, Ras Mubarak did say that he thought that for a state institution to spend so much money on one artist, mm -hmm. he's of, of the opinion that um, the money could have been used better. You know, there are people, areas that need water, that need... You know, for somebody mm -hmm. who is also a creative art person, mm -hmm. and for a space that a lot of us believe have been marginalized and mm -hmm. disrespected by governments, promises are made, nobody sees through them and all that, we are being led by, we've, we've been led over the years by people who a lot of us have questioned, you know, the ability to lead the space and all those things. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this? Do you feel, we, we did conduct a poll earlier on Facebook, and we asked if it was an insult to an artist of Shatawale's caliber. For somebody to say he did not even deserve that amount of money, mm. um, you know, as compared to, do you also think that the money shouldn't? We don't need to spend so much on a celebrity of his caliber. We should have what used was the money, money to, paid for. It was paid for him to lead, you know, um, the Exim Bank. The Exim Bank is for import and export, and mm. over the last couple of years, they, you know, decided I to know focus more. Bank, yeah. They fo decided to focus more on export. And if you are yes. going to focus on export, you need to create visibility for the country and what you have to offer. So they decided to engage um, a communications company or an advertising agency to look for ways where they could advertise the products that we have from Ghana. Mm. Because they had invested in a lot of um, institutions through 1D, 1F, farms and stuff, Ikumfi farms, mm. for instance, and all those things. Mm -hmm. And these people have products that they need to create market for. So they went for an agency mm -hmm. who should help them mm -hmm. to get some of these things out there. Mm -hmm. Now, the agency came back and suggested various things, mm -hmm. including getting brand icons. Mm -hmm. They looked for somebody who had local and international appeal, mm -hmm. and they settled on Shatawali mm -hmm. and Ejako. Mm -hmm. We are still not abreast of the exact amount of money that was given out to them. However, this is the conversation that are I Are you abreast up. of the, the terms of the contract? Well... Generally, when you engage a brand ambassador, if I engage Sadiq as a brand ambassador, I engage you, A+, you're yeah. a celebrity. If I engaged you as a brand ambassador, the terms would be pretty much the same. No, no. And it, it, we, can't, we can't conclude like that. Do we know what Shatawale was asked to do? Have we, have we seen the contract between Shatawale and uh, Exim Bank? Not yet. Does it say that Shatawale should travel across the world to go and sell uh, whatever product they have? Not yet. Does it say that Shatawale should travel across the country? Not Does it yet. say he should go and carry cocoa from somewhere and go and put it? So when we see that, Shatawale was only giving two million to go and shout Exim Bank and go and sleep, then we can start talking about it. For now, we don't know what is in the contract that Shatawale is supposed to do as a person. Yeah. So if Shatawale is supposed to take 200 people to uh, in UK every month to go and do a brand new then we can come and say the money was small. It yeah. won't be enough to do that. Sadiq, you understand what I'm saying? So until we know the details of the contract, we cannot conclude. You cannot conclude. You so cannot make look, any and, comment. And, and, and the, and the uh, right information bill has been passed. Let's go to Exim Bank and ask them to give us the contract. 
Yes, we write through our lawyers. They'll write to us in bank. They'll give us a contract. Then we can. Then we take it from yes. there. Plus, do you have presidential ambitions? Because you have set up a political party, as people call it. <laughs> people say TPP, the People's Project, is a political party. Let people have the right to say whatever they want to say. I have a friend who said Jesus Christ's girlfriend was Mary Madeline. Let people be free and say what they want is, to is say. Is TPP a political party? TPP is not a political party. Do you have presidential ambitions? I have every ambition. I mean, if God called me to be Jesus, I will be Jesus. Do you have pres- yeah. Do you have presidential ambitions? One day, if you want me, if you vote for me, I'll. Do you president. want to be president of Ghana? Who doesn't want to be president of Ghana? I, I so don't, don't give me a judge. You don't you want to be president? Of no, Ghana? I don't. I will slow. No, I height. Oh, your height. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Let's move forward with the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move forward with the conversation. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That means that his height is not allowing him to be president of Ghana. <laughs> Can you imagine what he's president? This is the presidential height. Ah, can we move this forward? Is the presiden- this is the, pre- the official presidential height of Ghana. A plus, let's move forward. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be president of Ghana someday? Uh, as at now, what I want to be is that person who is helping everybody. Yes, it's not as at now. Do I'm, you want I'm, to be president I'm, of this country I'm, someday? I'm dealing with now. I won't talk about that. I'm dealing with now. A plus, everybody has future ambitions. I have not made that ambition. I have future ambitions. Yes, you take yours. I have not made my own. I know Sadiq's future ambitions. ambitions. I will tell you. La. I know Rasta. Sadiq wants to be Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture under the... You uh, see, you said that you are lying. You don't want it. Ah, what kind of... Black... Rasta wants to... Uh? And now, what, you are sharing ambitions for people or what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, Uncle Ken, uh, uh, Creative Arts Council. Okay, uh, uh, let's uh, move forward. What do you want to do to Uncle Ken? Uh, Creative Arts Council. He's so intelligent. Yeah, I, I can see it on his face no, when I look at his face. He, he, he would do very well at the Creative Arts Council. Uh, well. Yeah. You see, Kwame Rasta wants GBC, Director General. Kwame Rasta. Yeah. Rasta. Hmm. Yeah. George Kwe. Hmm? <laughs> At my age, you think I'm interested in such things? Uh, you are not, eh? No. Okay, let's move forward. You see, TPP. TPP is not a political party. Okay. In fact, when you when you read the the Constitution of Ghana, it states clearly that the people, the, the government must even help the people in terms of freedom of association and forming associations for national development. It's in the Constitution. And TPP is exactly what the Constitution says. We have formed this, this movement to fight for us by us. There are so many things that must change in this country. And there are so many people who want to, who want to be part of developing this country, uh-huh. but they are scared. They are scared that a certain group of people have taken over the governance of this country and use insults and some takashi to scare people, discerning people who want to be part of national uh, building this country away. So if you are a woman and you are, uh, 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 you are selected as running mate for a political party, the next thing that they come is that all of them should come and insult you as a woman. If you are short and they make you presidential candidate, let all of them come and insult you. When Anado was running uh, as flag bearer for flag bearer of MPP, they said all sorts of things. He has killed his wife. He is a real smoker. He is a drug addict. All of these lies were told about. And it drives discerning people away. Ask Uncle Ken, do you want to do politics? No, I'm afraid. I don't want to be part of it because it is a dirty game. Hey, we, we are dirty. <laughs> hey, we, we, we are dirty. Me. You think that we will leave this country for those who can shout to own it when people, the people who can run this country have been relegated to radio talk shows while party food soldiers decide what this country should be. Okay? TPP is a different movement. We are different people. This election, I can promise everybody in this country, from IGP to the CDS to everybody, there won't be anybody misbehaving. Me, I have the boys. I run the street. I have the boys. You know, Sadiq, you live in a, 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 a Fadama. You know. Me, I'm taking charge of the street. Anybody who wants to disturb our peace, the Constitution says we should arrest you. We will not allow, we will not live in a country where a party foot soldier has a gun on top of a military and police in Ghana and nobody can talk. George, what, look, TPP is that movement that is there to support discerning people who want to have the freedom to be part of building this country. We are not leaving it for anybody. We are not going anywhere. We are not running away. We are not a political party. 
And we don't care who wins the election. What we want is for the right things to be done. What does TPP stand for? The People's Project. Will it ever become the People's Party? We, we, don't, we don't, don't go there. No person kind of interview. No, it's, a, it's, a <laughs> open, it's, open <laughs> it's, it's actually not my question. It's not my question. It's actually a question from Jesse Japon. He wants to know, will TPP ever become the People's Party? Will it ever become the People's Party? We don't know. We're organized contest for the people's party. We don't know. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, uh, yeah. listen. Some people have have this mindset. Mm-hmm. The 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 police commissioner will be standing there, and party food soldier will be misbehaving, and they can't talk because they are scared of the parties. The soldier, the military general, salutes the party communicator, and they have made our institutions weak. Nothing is working. Look, we at TPP, we support the police in everything that they do, especially when they are doing what is right. We support the military. We support the institutions of this country. Whether the EC is right or not, we will disagree with them when we have to, but we support the EC to do its work, mandated by the Constitution. We are not going to sit down and watch a group of people have the right to think that they can misbehave. Me, if you have boys, me, I have boys. But A+, plus, why do you blame only the political parties because when it comes to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me ask the question. I haven't asked the question. Let me ask the question. Why do you blame only the political parties when it comes to the way we sometimes disrespect our police? Because you are a creative, you're a musician. And in this country, we have musicians who sometimes, when they are moving, their convoy is even larger than the president. And they have police in front of them and behind them. Isn't it a thing that Ghanaians generally, we disrespect our security agencies and Use them as and how we prefer. There is police. Is there, is the government, the law says that if you need police escort, go and to police. Do you know whether they went to ask police or not? Go oh. to police and ask them. But that is. Okay, let no, me if for I want the police, I want police. Let I'll me go for, to police. Let I'll me write for, to the police and ask them to follow me. No, Sadiq, uh, uh, sorry, I said Sadiq. A plus. There have been instances, as an event planner, for instance, mm-hmm. there have been instances where you have security at your gate. An artist is coming, and the security that is coming, even your security will be saluting them. Ah, the person is coming. Me, when I was coming to drive, I came with 30 people. And then when the no, thing... I came with 30 people. So hold on. No, wait. No, so, hold on. so hold on. Wait, so hold on. How does that continue? So hold on. Yeah, hold, my on. Friends, we have hold on. Hold on. Now, you have come with your security. Uh, they are not my security. They are my your, friends. Your friends. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about security. Boy, you come and tell so me if somebody law. enters you know a place, here. if somebody enters a place with his own security, and as you are saying, if you need, you can go and get. And then something happens. And the person does something that breaks the law. Why do you go back to blame, or, uh, George, blame organizers? George. George. Yeah. George. Yeah, I get you, event organizers. Let's talk about Ghana police. Mm-hmm. Ghana police That's important. is no more an avenue for these desperate people trying to make ends meet. Great. Ghana police now has people with PhDs and all in the police service. These people must be allowed to perform their duties. Enough of this country, Ghana, where the political parties are making institutions weak, where political parties are taking everything. Me, when I was standing at Obrasport, Shouting that we won't allow the EC to call, uh, to, to call the election for, uh, for John Mahama and that Akufuado had won the election. We were protesting. Some people were sitting in the comfort of their home. Today, they, they, they turn on V8. They, turn, they put some light there. And ring, 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 they, are going. They, they are powerful because Akufuado has given position. If you can take a V8 and go and do ring, me too, I can do some. Sharp. Uh-huh. You are, whether you are, look, the constitution is clear on who and who can have that. Uh-huh. So if you think that you have a position and you can do it and you don't respect anybody, me too, I can do some. A-plus. So uh-huh. what we are talking is that. I want the institutions to be strong. The police must be independent. The military must be independent. You cannot live in a country where a party foot soldier has a gun on police, a police and military uniforms. A and nobody is saying person. anything up till now. See, see, George, it is a very wrong country. It is the state, the country is failing. And these things must stop. We did not come to power. Uh, 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 we did not campaign in 2016 so that a government will come to power to do comparative analysis of the nonsense that happened in the previous government. We brought this government so that they can change the things that were happening. Uh-huh. If, if fight, fighting during elections. Just because of elections, nobody must have peace in this country. Uh-huh. Not just because of elections. Nobody must have peace. Nobody must sleep. Now that we are going into election, everybody is thinking about violence. Everybody is scared. Some people want to take their children away. Why? Because we want to vote. Why? And it won't happen this year. Great. Wait, uh-huh. I'm coming to the last point. Hey, wait, Ache. <laughs> we are running out of I'm time. I'm coming to the last point. Come to the last point. So CPP, I can go for my next question. CPP is going to do two things. To be very peaceful. To be very respectful. 
but to enter into the water with the people who are taking this country into the water. That takes me to my next question. Efia from North Kandeshi says, he said before elections, TPP will meet to agree who they give their votes to. They will evaluate the trends, meet the parties, and agree on which best to support. What is their evaluation so far? Who have they decided to support? And are they happy with NPP or are they happy with NDC so far? That's Efia from North Kandeshi. So, George, yeah. my interest is She's right. She has followed TPP for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, I as at this point, at this point, everybody knows that coronavirus has changed everything about this world. And so, what we wanted to do pro uh, uh, coronavirus has changed entirely. But we have stated consistently. We have stated consistently. Go and sit down. No, no, somebody sent a uh, message yeah, yeah, in your yeah, favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. The person says he's in love with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That, that's I know. a man. Who. He's in love with you. Obi says he's in love with yeah, you. Yeah, yes, yes. No, you no, should no, be worried. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> they like you. Okay, let me continue. <laughs> we, we have stated consistently that we want social welfare. What we want, I wish that this election, all the young people in this country mm -hmm. can come together and say to the political parties that, we are looking for one party that can give 200 communities water. We will vote for you. 200 communities. Give 200 communities water and let's vote for you. We have to use elections to bring about development. Truth. We have to. So TPP, we had our idea of meeting with the political parties and agreeing on who. The independent candidates formed their own coalition. And we said, look, form your coalition. If you are strong and uh, you come up with a candidate, we will support that independent candidate. Mm -hmm. They formed the coalition. That same month, the coalition broke, broke down. Sure. The coalition broke down. And now they come to me individually that, oh, you support me, support me. You cannot form a simple coalition of independent candidates and find who should lead you. How can you run this country? This country is a gangster country. Hey, plus, we're going to move on. And um, if you just tuned in, you're tuned in to Joy 99.7 FM. It's showbiz A to Z. And even on the day that EPL opens, the show is trending at number 14. Uh, no, number 11, actually. And we're going to climb to the top by the time we're over. Plus, um, plus you might want to tune in. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> a plus, who has been funding TPP? TPP is funded by the people. You there were rumors some big NDC man was behind it. I don't know if you yeah, heard we that want, rumor. No, we want. If there is a big NDC, you should bring the money. If there is a big MPP, you should bring the money. We are, not, we, are, we are not hiding from anybody. How have you been funding it to keep we, it going? What do we need the money for? We need the money to build water for villages. And you know, we have been building water, community water systems for villages. We just came from Bermai Usuoko. Yeah, your fr a, a friend of mine invited me to join you on that trip, but I couldn't. Uh, yes. Francis Bill, I think he oh, lives Francis in Kaza. Yeah, Bill, we just my came buddy. From, he invited we just me. came from Usuoko. I mean, yeah. also invited and, time and this is number 12 of the projects that we have done. We have built 12 community water projects. Each one costs so much money. It costs us ten to 11000 depending on the area, dollars. And we have done 12. Now, the last project that we did With for instance, money? How do you fund these? Easy. The last project that we did, for instance, the project didn't even come from us. I was there when I received a call from TPP USA. And mm -hmm. I want to tell you this, TPP is registered in USA, it's registered in UK, in France. Look, TPP is in Iceland. You should make it TPP International. So TPP USA called me, the, the, the organizer called me and said, there is this village that is suffering water crisis and they have never had water and they drink from the same pond with animals and the kids it, like it, it, it was it, it was a mess so we went to the village in the central region saw the project uh, the, the problem that they have and then tpp usa immediately sent the money wow yes wow they immediately sent the money and we built the water and when we completed tpp veneto now in italy it has money sitting down asking that what should we do with the money? TPP Benito is ready with the money to do something, and we are looking at which projects we have to uh, uh, we have to take first. You understand? Yeah. So listen, the truth will finance itself. Let me bring my panel into the conversation at this point. We're in the studios with um, A Plus. We've also got Sadiq Abdullah Abu here, whose voice you've heard. Kwame Rasta, who? Sadiq. He has a, a fight with Kofi Baboni on fa that Facebook fight. Oh, they should continue fighting. Oh, right. Kwame Rasta is here with us, oh, and Uncle Kennedy, oh, okay. as usual, was first to get in. Uncle Ken, mm -hmm. we're having a conversation with A Plus. I mean, I think it's about time to bring the panel into this conversation now. I I received a message. Yes, sir. From a friend who asked whether this was a political program or an entertainment program, <laughs> and I didn't have an answer. Because the conversation 
yeah. has not been centered on entertainment. No, it's not. Exactly. Well, well so I didn't But know. the character is from the creative ah, sector. Correct. The man in question. No, and I'm only saying it because yes. I want him to know yes. that from you yeah. what the import of the conversation yes. is about. So let me quickly explain. Mm-hmm. A plus is a person who started with a creative background. He started, like you rightly said, as a comedian, then to a musician. And now, I don't know whether to call him a freedom fighter or a full-blown mm-hmm. politician or a civil rights activist. Mm-hmm. But whatever it is, I think it is important that those of us in the creative space started putting our foot into some of these spaces and started having some of these conversations mm-hmm. so that for once in the history of this country, we can be taken seriously because... Mm-hmm. We've been taken for a ride for far too long. Okay. That is the reason we're having this conversation, so that they know that our conversations isn't only about two artists quarreling over something or something, mm-hmm. so that they know that we also have heads that can actually take the mantle of leadership of this country and run it. So that when you have a ministry of tourism, it will be led by one of us, just as somebody from the broadcast background is leading ministry of um, information, and they are doing so well. Okay. Joe, you have your answer. Thank you. Sadiq. And we'll also be sitting with all the other celebs in politics. Look for uh, look forward to our conversation with John Dumelo coming up sometime soon. We'll say bottom up approach. Uh, yes. Club is not serious. Sadiq. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know what to say to um, A plus. I've been following uh, his um, activities on social media. Sometimes he hits this. He hits here. He jump with. Then he hits with small. Who are the we? I you know, but I mean, I think that it's allowed um, in the political space. Um, just sometimes um, there's a need to have the likes of A plus to be able to do the things they're doing. I mean, we've seen how um, even the CSOs who were supposed to be the voice of, of reason have been outmuzzled out of the whole political conversation space. You know, it's now left with just the, the two parties, uh, which is fine. I mean, it's a way to, I mean, pursue it. But beyond that, I mean, there's always a need to have somebody in the middle, somewhere, somehow, to be able to advance the course of, I mean, ordinary people. Politicians there, the two of us, would always, I mean, knock each other with all the ideas. But it's also important that you have, like, a, a middle ground, so to say. Somebody who, like A+, plus, can always be in the middle and be able to, as it were, bring to the fore some of the issues bedeviling other people who's got who's not got that attention. So, I mean, that's uh, what I would say on this. Kwame, Rasta, you're with us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would want to. Yeah, you that. Um, what did you won't give out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we have very little time and a lot to discuss so yes, yes. Um, I, I'd want to spend my opportunity yeah um, in the form of an appeal uh-huh. to um, the TPP president uh, you, you want a job there um, yes plus more okay now the more bit is um, that there's this village it is called Chelenga uh-huh Yes. It is on the is the last town that borders um, the Republic of Togo in the Uti region. Mm. So from Dambai you go to Nkwanta, Nkwanta, Chiri. Now when you get to after Chiri, you have to walk ascending um, the mountainous terrain for four hours solid. On foot. On foot. The, you, you can't assess Chilinga, which is part of the Republic of Ghana, with a bicycle. Neither can you do that with a motorcycle. How? As for a car, unless you want to carry it. Wow. Now, you, it's a steep, like, climb. I went there to fetch bush um, organic honey, um, and then for retail. And um, during one of my trips... On my way back, I met Little Obed. Little Obed is dead anyway. He was um, about two years old. I put his story on my Facebook wall, tried to solicit for funds for him. He, his stomach had ballooned, and he was looking all sick and whatnot. Um, I think when he passed, I'd left Facebook, so I couldn't um, oh. notify my friends on Facebook, but he, he passed. Now, the reason I'm mentioning Chilenga is 
Chilenga does not have a church. Never in the history of Chilenga have they ever had a church. Neither have they ever had a mosque. They've never had a police station. Never in the history of Ghana Gold Coast have they had a health post. Wow. Now, the good news is, Chilenga, however, has two polling stations during every election. Okay. Now, the deputy OT regional minister hmm, mm-hmm. hails from Chelenga. Do you know how he commutes to Chelenga from the capital, which is in Dambai? Either helicopter or walk four hours okay. up the hill. So he beats you to it. He goes, he drives with his um, official vehicle through the Republic of Togo all the way up and then enters from that side. Oh, it's easier from I that I like route. him. He's my role model. Smart guy. Oh. <laughs> now, it is not right. It is wrong. They do not have any water. They, listen, these people have some obusumbi. My friend who led me there, he's 33 years old. He has three wives, solid. In fact, if I had spent two days there, I would have been, you know... You would have married four. Um, you, you, let's continue. Yes, See, let's the point continue. is, yes. Chilenga, the natives, indigenous of Chilenga are Ghanaians. And if I'm sitting, if I were sitting right next to the Pope or Nanado Danko Ekufuado, I would have reached out to him that, listen, some of our folks out there who are Ghanaian voters, every election, no regional minister has ever been there, no MP has ever been there, no president, no regional minister... Interesting. These are things I found out. I made it my work. Listen, I nearly died on my way back. It, it is treacherous to ply that route. And the ladies there, what they do for a living is when you buy the honey in the jelly cans, the kufo yellow, the big ones, they cut it on their heads for the four hour journey into Nkwanta for 20 cities per head. Work. Yes, that's what they do. That's the main occupation, economic activity for the ladies there. So your appeal is that is that TPP should TPP try and reach out to Chelenga. Beautiful. No, we let's let's, let's move no, forward. You, you see, should. Uh, George, you should. Yeah. You see, it's, uh, uh, my brother coming to talk about Chilenga. Yeah. And I'm happy. We will not come and sit here every day and talk about Chata. What they did this, a stone boy did that. Exactly. We are also the creative art must also be part of the politics. That is of the point. Country. That was, that is the very reason we're and, having this conversation. And, and I'm happy that he came up with this. And we are going to Chelenga. Yeah. I can promise. Mm-hmm. I can promise Kwame that we are going to Chilenga. And now, you see where Chilenga is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here in Accra, we built a community water system in Ablekuma. Here, just Ablekuma. Mm-hmm. One in Agap, uh, uh, race course here. Okay. One in Abehenase. One in Oduman. Look at these areas in Accra. So can you imagine what is happening in Chilenga? In Chilenga. And and. When we went to Bremen Osuoko, the day that we got there to do our studies, when I was talking to the kids who were standing in the water, bathing with soap, there were other kids who were fetching the same water to go home. And as they were fetching the water, a farmer and his dogs came and they stopped. And as the kids were fetching the water, the dogs were drinking from the same stream. And you have an MP. It costs us eleven thousand dollars. You come and sit on social media when the plus is on uh, uh, on Joy FM. You come and sit on uh, how do you call that thing? Uh, What's happened? Facebook and uh, and come and tell. You. Look, me. I live at I live at MS Estate. I've never seen my street light go off. You understand? But what about those kids? What about those kids in in Chilenga? And the MP in Chilenga drives a hundred and forty thousand dollar V eight. The water costs 10000 11000 So let's say Chilenga will be very expensive, 11000 How many water, community water systems are you sitting inside? Interesting. Very interesting One point. One MP. MP. How it many community way. water systems it are was. you sitting inside? Have you had an opportunity to look at the manifestos? NDC MPP manifestos. Both, yeah. I stopped looking at that. I've, I've just been, I stopped looking at manifestos because I think that this manifesto business is what is not helping this country. In, in NDC... I'm coming to the, I'm coming to them. Uh, Sadiq, is that you are a member of NDC? You, the, what is what is what is paramount in your re- manifesto right now is Okada. Okada. I agree that no, no, I agree that Okada should be legalized 
because look, government allows people to import motorbikes into the country, and so there should be laws that you go and and you see. What it takes for you to do a okay, is that when police stop you and there's somebody sitting there, I say it's your friend, it's my sister, it's my brother, it's my whatever. Police can't do anything. There's no law that says two people can't sit on a motorbike. Mm. You understand? So the people can even do it at the blind side of the police. So let's bring some laws. But I don't think that this should be a national issue. When you go to America, every state has their own laws. The Metropolitan Assembly in Tamale agrees that the people obey the traffic regulations. Mm -hmm. They don't jump red light. They don't do this. They don't do that. Mm -hmm. So let's let's uh, legalize Okada here. Yeah. It is not the same as riding Okada on Temamoto Way. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say we want to generalize and all of us are going to do Okada just because we have to do Okada. No. And if you are listening to a politician, your if you are campaigning to be president of Ghana, your campaign must be based on five things: health, education, uh, uh, foreign policy. Uh, 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 how do you call that one? Uh, uh, Agric. And what else? Employment and social welfare. Talk about these things. Okada should, it shouldn't be the main campaign mes message, Okada. Yes, I agree. Okada should be legalized. But is that what you have for Ghana? That's, that's how you're going to create employment for Ghanaians? That is, that, is, that is not a serious campaign. I'm telling everybody. Me, me, look, when I leave here, the people who call me first, the NDC people, so I guess they are my friends. Me, I don't care who. <laughs> me, I don't have permanent <laughs> interest. I, 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 friends, I have permanent interest in Ghana. And I will eat what they will come to my house. Mm. So, me, I, me, I don't, I don't, politics, we are talking about Ghana. So we can talk about Ghana. When I finish here, yeah, I'll call Samuel Ogu, my brother. I'll call him. Listen, let me tell you this. Now, MPP, they are complaining about Okada. Say, if your son, will you allow your son to go and do Okada? MPP, you see, you know, you know one thing about them, MPP, you know one thing about them, the way they can, the way they are arrogant and dishonest in lying, it's amazing. In 2016, in our manifesto, we put that we're going to build hostels for Kayaye. Will you put your children in hostels to go and carry load? Average age of Kayaye is 16. Average weight, 45 uh, 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 kg. kg carrying 60 kg loads. Will you want your children? The minister's wife goes to the market. The minister's wife goes to the market. Look in the eye of a 16-year-old girl and carry her that load and say, I'll build you a hostel to sleep inside. I like the girls are sleeping outside. The boys are impregnating them. I like Teenage your broad view, A+. Plus. I'm ending in, in five seconds. Yeah. Teenage pregnancy and all. And I want to give them hostels so that the boys will be comfortable to yam them well. <laughs> Interesting. I like your broad view, but I would like to <coughs> narrow it down to our creative sector because you see governments come governments go and every time health is priority education priority the one sector that is never a priority is the creative because arts. they don't respect you george i'm mm. telling you they do not respect you they do not have your time yes they will come and give you 10 uh, 300 ghana you follow them to campaign maybe oh boy hey, me you want my endorsement for your campaign Charlie, you want to collapse the Uncle Ghana? Eh? But you were the know, one no. rallying creatives for no, MPP listen, in, ask Nana in, for, uh, four years ask ago. Ask Nana Akufuado, 2016. I want to say this on record. Ask Nana Akufuado if he ever gave me money. If I'm doing it for you for free, it is because I believe in what is going on. So I'll do it for you for free. The day Nana Akufuado asked me, will you need something? I said, Nana, I will take care of myself. This is Joy FM. Nana listens to Joy. So I'm telling you this. So I will take care of myself. So if anybody thinks that, hey, plus, no, 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 me, I've been like this. And now, the reason why I don't even want to listen to these guys' manifestos is that Ghana does not need political party manifestos. Thank you. Ghana needs a national development mm -hmm. long-term strategic plan. And that was the recommendation of the Constitution Review Commission 2010. Mm -hmm. the, review, the Constitution Review Commission 2010 stated clearly that this country needs a long-term strategic plan. Even though it was not part of the of the of the submission that of the uh, of their thematics or whatever they call it, the people who were making submissions stated clearly that this is what we want. They open up that everybody. What do you think we should put in the constitution? What should change? And fig over fifty percent of people making submissions told the commission that we want a long term strategic development plan for Ghana. And after they said all of this and gave reasons why the country needs a national development plan. The, 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 the government of the day issued a white paper. The government of the day issued a white paper disagreeing with the commission's recommendation that, one, 
the National Development Planning Com uh, NDPC, National Development Planning Commission, <coughs> must be an independent body. They are directed, uh, uh, the, I don't know if it's the MD or whoever, must be appointed by the people themselves. The National Development Planning Commission must not be an advisory body to the president of the day. Yep. The National Development Planning Commission must have the, 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 the freedom to, to draft an, a, a plan for this country. The plan must be backed by law. It is only parliament that must, can, 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 can change any part of that commission. Now, the president of the day issued a paper and said, I disagree with this. I disagree that any, CV, any, any uh, 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 citizen can go to court and enforce the plan on successive government. Because if this is the plan, and you come and you don't want to go by the plan, Kwame can go to court and say, why is it that the national policy is that we are going here, and you have decided to go here? And the court must tell the government that, go here, because this is our plan. But the government in 2004, when they, re when they received the, plan, uh, the, the, the commission's report, stated clearly that they disagree. The government of the day must have the freedom to do whatever it wants to do. 2010 or 2004. The commission was formed in 2010, 2010 yeah. by Professor Mills. Yeah. The report was ready by 2014, <coughs> and it was presented to John Mahama. Mm -hmm. John Mahama's government then stated that if you enforce plans on successive governments, mm -hmm. you are forcing the government to undertake policies of their, their predecessors which are not which is not their party agenda mm. so john mama is saying that let's go by party party then the same john mama turned around and told us that his projects have been abandoned mm. if you mm. implemented this the recommendations of the government you won't go around with camera taking video that i built this hospital they didn't and continue. that hospital. i did this they didn't continue now anyway. the last point here yeah. is that they stated clearly that oh everything that we are looking for is in the directive principle of state policy. It's in there. So go and follow. Where is it? It's Article 35.7. What does it say? It says, as far as practicable, mm -hmm. every government shall continue projects and programs of the previous government. So leave it like that. You cannot add as far as practicable to SHA. It becomes discretionary. If you put as far as practicable and shall together, it becomes discretionary. So it is in the discretion of the government of the day to, to decide, decide to continue or not. Let me take some, some messages. I do not reply. want an, a party manifesto. I am looking for a national development agenda, agenda, a blueprint for this country, country. called Ghana. A plus is the man we are talking to. He is a um, leader of the organization known as the People's Project (TPP). And some of your messages, let me see if I can quickly take them. Um, okay, um, but yes, uh, let me come to the screen. This one says, Tell A plus, um, this is happening in Ghana all because of this weak, outdated, and um, uh, weak constitution that we have in the country. I'm um, narrow from a breeze. They, said they spent six million dollars on the constitution review commission and just threw it away. What a country we have! Okay, that's an interesting one. This one says, um, thank you, GQ and A+, plus for the good job you've started. Please keep it up. I went to a funeral in New Amman for Takradi and the road to the town, about five kilometers, uh, very dilapidated and rough. So school children of the fishermen there are suffering because they are cut from the main town. Please, they need your help now. Thank you very much. Okay, there was no name to that one. Please do also add your names to your messages. David, um... This one um, from Papa and Science Session and says, Good afternoon, George. Please, um, A plus is my man. Oh. Please ask A plus when he comes as when he becomes president, what can he do to help the ordinary Ghanaian to survive in this country? Politicians can talk when they are outside the Flagstaff house. They are very wonderful human creatures. Um, Papa and Sa from um Tashinungwa. Okay, let us move on. A lot of your messages come in and this one says I'm gonna be coming to Twitter very soon. Hello GQ, tell A plus to stop yelling and talk. <laughs> Nobody is debating or chasing him. My ears are hurting. <laughs> Tom Brad, okay, he's heard you. You know, sometimes when you're in the spirit, your energy comes and you just... Uh, yeah. yeah, it's called what? Quick uh, Me. GQ, I support A plus. Why must government neglect Noguchi and give contracts to private company at the airport? South Korea, Singapore were able to change their status through one generation. But trust me, Ghana will take 20 generations and won't see any change. Charles in Lagon. 
Charles, one thing I can tell you for sure is that some of the loudest people in this country are those of us in the creatives. And we choose to discuss important matters like we're doing right here on Joy. We may be seeing changes very soon. Okay, this one says, tell A+. Plus. Okay. Does A+, plus know that um, people uh, positive but results can be negative uh, because of incubation period? Does he know that between the point of departures and arrival, one can contract the disease? Okay, all right. This one um, is from Charles in Norway. Yeah, Charles in Norway, you also do have a point, and I'm sure that was one of the reasons they decided to do the test. This one says, um, one second, Uncle Ken, I'll come to you shortly. Good afternoon, George. Kindly tell A+, plus I love his honesty. If it's genuine, if it's genuine. Ghana, let's move. Ghana is more important than NDC and NPP. We must redeem our nation from these two parties. Uncle Ken. Yeah, um, um, on the issue of the test, I've Other just set, received yeah. uh, a message from Ni Beidou, mm. and he says, I uh, hope you and the family... Are, I was listening to your program, as I always do, and had some blanket statements from Kwame A+. Mm. I'm sending this information to set the record straight. Mm. You can test negative prior to a flight mm. and subsequently test positive on arrival. Mm. And this is what happened in this case. I don't know, uh, maybe you mentioned a particular case of somebody... I, I don't remember. The departure and arrival tests are both essential for our own protection. And did the, and the, the, the person add who is doing the test? Oh, no, 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 the no, didn't no, 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 he didn't add. But thing. that was your issue. No, my issue is that who is who doing the test? Yes, I'm saying the that test? is your issue. No, not it's part of my issue. Not the actual test being conducted. Huh? Who is doing the test yes. is your issue. It's part because, of my yes, issue. Yes, yeah, issue. And, who and is doing the test? Exactly. He didn't add that. That one should add it. He didn't. Add, maybe he doesn't know. Uh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, so we, we're moving uh, for it. I'm going to be moving to Twitter. Um, um, Uncle Ken, thank you very much for that input. Um, on Twitter, this one says, um, The messages are a lot, man. I don't even know where to start from. One second. Let me see if I can take about two. The messages are plenty. My goodness. Originally, Sly says, uh, Kwame A+, Plus, I'm with you on this journey. We need to fight for Ghana. If we leave GH in the hands of NDC and NPP, another 50 years will come and Ghana will still be the same. Dadana. As a little boy, I thought GH would be fast developing. I'm grown and nothing has changed. Comes back to say, being black is an honor because we come from greatness. Why take a weapon when your blackness is the weapon they are scared of? Be proud and brave. A+, Plus, we're going to be bringing our conversation to a close. But um, so um, tell me, what is the future for um, TPP? The future for TPP is that we are going to remain that 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 group that is putting pressure on the politicians to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. George, we live in a country where our grandmothers and our mothers are enslaved in witch camps because social welfare does not work. Yeah, nobody is talking about this. Our mothers and grandmothers are slaves in witch camps because social welfare does not work. Kids are on the streets cleaning car glass window because social welfare does not work. Yeah. Government does not see the need to put money in social welfare. Social welfare is not resourced to take care of these, all of these people. This is the country that we are living in. And nobody is demonstrating that one is not important. <coughs> <laughs> and so we are TPP will take care of all of these social issues. People must have water. Look, I've done, I've done so many prospectings in, in Ghana, in various villages. There is nowhere in Ghana, as far as I know, that you don't have water there. Yeah. There are places that there's so much water that the people can use for hundreds of years, but the people do not have water. And it takes just about $10,000 to, to give them, to tap to, the water. To water. Mm-hmm. And we don't just do boreholes, we build the borehole with, with uh, the whole, uh, how do you call it, system mm-hmm. that gives you pure water like this so the people can drink the water. Why is government not giving the people water? Why are the people drinking dirty water like ducks? And nobody is saying anything. The future of TPP is that, you see, and people say, oh, A-plus, the election, then Nanadu will win. If Nanadu wins the election and the next day I put 200,000 people on the street, can he kill all of them? That's the man Kwame A+. Plus. A+. No, plus. George, you didn't answer that question. No. If he wins the election by 1st January, I, 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 by that that January yeah. I put 200,000 people on the street. What Why would you, would you put 200,000 on the street? Because the women must leave the witch camps and, and be put in... in care oh, homes. I see. Uh, yes. To demonstrate to against demonstrate, the police. Yes, the women must okay. leave witch camps and be put in care homes. Okay. So, it is not about who is going to win the election. Mm-hmm. TPP is here to stay and we are very strong mm-hmm. on the ground. 
So don't say that. Oh, Elisha, if you win, you have to have peace of mind to run the country. Let that is also very, very important. Let me become a political. Let me, let me, let me end on a light note, Kwame. How did Kennedy Japan mm. know that you had a relationship with um, uh, what's her name? Tracy. Tracy. How yes. did I know that you had a girlfriend at North Kanishi? Ah. Eh? Ah, same. Ah, you see what my friend? I'm only going to answer for you, don't worry. Me <laughs> <laughs> I'm even confused. Okay, ah, we're confused. I'm confused. Yesterday, one girl came. Yesterday. Yesterday, Kwame. Relax. 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 You you kiss and tell. You go and get a number of catch ruby. When they get be a be one, I'm say ah. But are you not the same person at the time I was dating you? You told your friend that me and you are dating. <laughs> I know who come and kiss me. I went and told you. <laughs> it is normal with friends. <laughs> the Japan is my very good friend. If oh, you okay, don't know, that's cool. That's he's cool. My friend like you and your best friend. Me and Ken last week we did lunch every day at home. Oh, okay. Yes. So if anybody thinks that I'm going to meet Ken somewhere to go and have it, it's not real. Can the Japan said on a, that Cabrillo today plus every night? We talking about lunch. You, you talking about lunch? On the judges. Oh, the, his views on what? On the. I mean the judge. But he's apologized for that. On the judges. No, the judge. Oh no no. By oh, judges. Judges. The judges. Oh, the judge. No, the judgment. No, no people get angry and do all. Anyway, yeah, he's my friend. No, no, let me finish. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, I thought you had finished. That oh, was so so I have clarified it. You 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 judge when you met your your wife. Didn't you tell me I've met this woman? She's my girl. She's my girlfriend. I want to marry her. Oh well. You know it's a boy. Because oh, Charlie, today the woman make a firework. You go do this, do like something is new. So me, if I meet my, if I'm talking to my friend, so I have this girlfriend. This matter cried ten years ago. I have this girlfriend. Oh, it's my girl. Oh, we are going, going, going. Charlie, about him, about what? So we try to get man to go come and say, "Cash in you." If he knows, if he decides to go and talk about it, if my friend went to be true, I'm not, I don't have a problem. So, 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 so. Yeah, but I didn't go and report anything to anybody. <laughs> I hear normal boys talk. A plus, thank mind. you very much. Hey. And your office cannot be just two minutes from mine. And you, my you lunch has still not. Your office cannot be two minutes from mine because you met me in that area. Thank you very much. We can go for commercial. Uh, on that note, thank you very much for coming. The man's name is Kwame Plus. CPP. Later. And um, the show will continue. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, more right here on Showbiz A to Z. Groverman Productions presents Mr. Smooth, a radio play written by Uncle Lebo White. Monday to Friday, Mr. Smooth. Hey, look, uh-huh. here inside this envelope is a thousand Ghana cities. Okay, thousand. go and give it to her for me, eh? Oh, yes, eh? no problem, no problem. Good, good. Eh? Hey, but boss, small issue day. See, last time I go there, you say, make I tell you, see, it be the body edifice you won't see. Oh. It'll be, it'll be the money. Me too, eh? I want the body. Hey. I want the edifice. Oh. I want the buntu. Ah, my wife, she keeps me under strict surveillance. Mm. Say, when you want to see Julie this evening? Hey, hey, hey. Julie, what, what do you want to see? Boom, like that. I, so, sorry to mention him. Jolie. Jolie. Close your eyes small as you're saying it. Patch, Mr. Smooth. Tune into the Overdrive on Joy 99.7 FM after the 8 p.m. news on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, with a full episode repeated every Sunday from 1:30 p.m. Don't miss out. Monday to Friday, from Marin to Frida. I don't get time for complaints. Accidents do happen. It could be a motor accident, a sudden heart attack, or even a stroke, or any other health emergency. The first steps you take are very critical. Should you be involved in or witness an accident, call 112 for the fastest ambulance response. With over 300 well-equipped ambulances all over Ghana, you are assured of the fastest response to your emergency call. Call 112 during critical health emergencies and save your life and that of your family and loved ones. 112, help will come. 112, we are safe. Avoid prank calls as they can lead to loss of life of persons in actual need of help. Be a responsible citizen. Pendens is meaningless unless it's linked up the total reflection of the African continent. The future of our great country is in the today of our young people. Our biggest natural resources is in the quality of our human capital. This, the youth must lead. 
from Greater Accra, from Ashanti region, the Central region, the OT region, from Western North, from Bono East, the Bono Ahafo, the Western region, from Upper East and Upper West. Five presidents with cabinet of ministers are contesting to become Ghana's Youth President 2020. Who will win? Who is your favorite? Who will be the next Youth President of Ghana? Who will be the next Youth Minister of Ghana for the Brit Ministry, Finance Ministry, Energy Ministry, Zongo Ministry, Roads and Highways, the Special Prosecutor, Health Ministry, Education Ministry, and the Gender, Children, and Social Protection Ministry? Join us in the next 10 revisions episodes as they present their policy Ghana's Youth President shows every Saturday at 8 a.m. The battlefield of ideas and great leadership. Joy Prime, real entertainment. Hi, this is Norte Dua, host of Ultimate Health on Joy 99.7 FM. You can simply call me Norte by nature. What can I say? The year 2020 has indeed been a roller coaster of unprecedented challenges that have rocked the very foundations and pillars of life as we know it. The life-threatening and life-changing realities of the COVID-19 pandemic have brought out the importance of our health and well-being and its critical link to everything we truly value and cherish. As you struggle to balance and secure your health, safety, and livelihood, please be assured that Ultimate Health on Joy 99.7 FM remains your dependable and ultimate guide to healthy living. We've got you covered. If you're looking for dependable information and solutions that guarantee and protect your health and well-being, trust me, Ultimate Health is your best bet. Ultimate Health is a unique platform packaged to connect you directly to key health experts and practitioners. Tune in and join the family every Sunday at 2.05 p.m. on Joy 99.7 FM as we break down today's health issues in a smooth, easy to digest interactive format designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge to meet today's health challenges. Ultimate Health is live on Facebook and YouTube. Don't miss it. Hello there. Hop in. Let's go on a ride to the countryside. Prepare for smoothness through country land. Every Sunday between 10 a.m. and midday, tune in to Joy 99.7 FM for your favorite country music. Lock it in on your calendar. It's Countryland on Joy 99.7 FM. Simply call me Iggy. Countryland on Joy 99.7 FM. to joy 99.7 and to show this a to z just gone down was an insightful interview with the man kwame a plus and a pretty exciting one as well comedian musician freedom fighter civil activist you name it he's all in one zero two four four three four zero four three seven we'll try to open the phone lines today so you can call in and be a part of our show ahead of that we've got one in fact two more topics to go into And for the first one, you might want to take a listen to this. In promoting Made in Ghana, you know, you have very good artists. Nanam Pedu, Kojo Entry, you know, Nakorex, you name them. In this instance, you gave money to Shatawale. Honorable um, Chairman, no, not at all. As far as I'm concerned, it is a media campaign that we're running with a consultant. You'll be surprised how brand ambassadors can be good in promoting um, a particular sector. Sometimes what needs to be done is that if we've done incredible work, it will be good for people to know what is being done. It will be good for people to know what their options are. And having a good brand ambassador to sell that story it makes sense. So if the brand ambassador is an actor, so be it. If the brand ambassador is a, um, uh, the Ghana Black Star, so be it. If the brand ambassador is a, is a singer of influence, that's good business. So the, the consultant hasn't given, or uh, your institution, Ghana Exim, hasn't issued a check of 2 million Ghana cities to Shatawale. 
Honorable Chairman, um, I can confirm that um, as Deputy CEO Finance of Exim Bank, I have not signed or have not seen a check signed for $2 million or $2 million cities to, um, to any artist that you might have mentioned. So if it is confirmed that you sign a check of $2 million for an artist, either signed by you or from your outfit, uh, would you uh, believe that that check is really coming from your outfit? Honorable Chairman, if there's a check that's shown to me from Exim Bank, certainly I'll believe it. But uh, what I can say is that as Deputy CEO of Finance, I have not seen or signed a check for that amount. We'll work on that. What's the check? And then we'll Man. call you again to appear. Thank if you. We we'll, will we'll have the, the details. When you talk about me, I go shine. My body know me know me where you dey try. Una get shot a while, be some different guy. But the key make a style and me like. What we dey live for street, no be like. amount of money to do whatever work Exim gives them. But the Guinean public deserve to know how much went out, who got it. This is public fund. If you're giving two million cities to an artist, what is the basis for selecting that particular artist? If it were your money, would you actually be spending two million dollars? As somebody who's had, you know, uh, interactions with a lot of artists, Obviously, artists have to be paid for their intellectual property, their creativity, you know. But you ask yourself whether two million Ghana cities is a judicial use of public funds. I am completely not convinced that, you know, this is how we should be spending the people's money. Especially, you know, at a time when we are all tightening our belt, when we are living under dire straits or conditions, when government is struggling to find money to do basic things. As we speak, there are still Ghanaian kids who don't have access to schools at the primary level. Healthcare is a problem. So it's two million Ghana cities actually a best way of either having an ambassador promote the work that Ghana Exim does. You know, these are things that as representatives of the people we should be concerned about. Apart from the Shata only one, you have a sense that others have gotten money in the creative industry. There have been stories about a Jaku and others. I don't know about a Jaku, but you know, in respect of Shatawali, that is what my beating self <laughs> Yo, my name is Buddha from Buddha Entertainment, and I'm urging you to listen to Showbiz A to Z every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. And you heard it all, so we're going straight into it. Um, so that's the story that, um, you know, the Exim Bank has um, given some amount of money to um, Shatawale. And it appears Ras Mubarak is pretty uncomfortable with that amount of money because as far as he's concerned, it is public funds. That's one. And two, if public funds is going to be used, it must be used a bit more judiciously in his opinion that it can be used to construct roads, build schools and hospitals, give better life to people in the rural areas. Because after all, why is it important to even have ambassadors to sell this country? In his opinion. Uncle Ken. Yes. What's your take on this? I don't have a question for you. What's your take? Um, George, I followed this issue right from when it happened. And uh, I'm going to ask one or two questions. Go ahead, sir. What were they doing? What was happening at the Public Accounts Committee? What exactly was happening there? There was an invitation by the Public Accounts Committee for officials of the Exim Bank to come and answer to issues arising out of the Auditor General's report. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. That's why they were there. It had nothing to do with this particular matter. Because this particular matter was not in the Auditor General's report that was before them. Right? Yeah. Okay. This matter came up 
out of a PIQ. That's a, a public interest question by Mr. Ras Mubarak. And the chairman of PAC, seeing it as a related matter to public funds, allowed it. Yeah. And therefore put the question to the uh, deputy CEO. Yeah. Of the of finance is the deputy CEO of, of finance yeah. who was there who was there who was present who yeah, was present questions. answering questions exactly right the deputy CEO Ras Mubarak's allegation was that two million dollars had been paid to Shatawali exactly and two hundred and fifty to Ajako yeah mm -hmm. yes for certain things brand some brand ambassadorial brand ship. ambassadorial ship thank you so. The chairman of the committee felt, ah, if that is the case, it's important. Let's hear what they have to say about uh -huh. that. The deputy CEO categorically said he was not aware of an amount of two million being paid exactly to for that purpose. Yeah. He then goes on to say that, as far as he's concerned, they have a consultancy which. Is taking care of publicity for their works okay and uh, that's where he ended his matter <clears throat> now I like what the chairman did the chairman of the public accounts committee then says that okay Russ come and prove your allegation when can you do this he says the next day he will come up and show uh, um, proof. proof yeah of the amount that had been paid to these artists the, the next day nothing of that sort happens joy fm pick up who broke the story pick it up again and then call the uh what's his name corporate affairs manager mr richard anani anani yes <laughs> and that is where i was a bit taken aback by Mr. Richard Anani's response to Evan Spencer's line of questioning. Which part of his response did you find problematic? Richard Anani started by telling us that this matter was a contractual issue and so would not like to disclose matters in a contract publicly. Is that wrong? That's not wrong. Okay. Evans, being the predator that he is, pushed him and then he comes up and says oh yeah in actual fact we haven't paid this amount but we have just paid 15 percent of the amount now my question then would have been who have you paid the 15 percent to mm -hmm. because you have told us earlier in parliament house by your uh, uh, deputy ceo that you had contracted a consultant to deal with such matters. And George, you have been in this business. When you contract a consultant, money is paid to who the cons consultant picks. It's paid through the consultant, not from who contracted you. Exactly. Am I right? Yeah. So there is no way... But it, it depends, actually. Well... Yeah, it depends. Maybe it depends. Yeah, it depends. But there have been instances where, though there's a metal person, there's mm. maybe an agency that is bridging between the agency and the artist. Mm -hmm. There have been the sometimes that direct payments, payments have been made have been to... Made. Okay. Yes, and they bypass You know the, these things. Yes, That's why yes, I those have also happened before. Okay. Yes. But my issue is this. This matter arose in Parliament. And the Parliament are dealing with this matter. So until Russ goes to proof that the amount was two million, as he claimed, eh? there's no way we should all of a sudden pick it up and start accusing people of taking two million. Yes. Because we don't even know. What we do know is that the Exim Bank have come out to deny the two million tag. Have they, have they not? They have. Yes. Um, they have said it is not two million. It, it but I will tell you why it has become a subject for discussion. Because you see, when a lawmaker, mm. when a man in our parliament mm. brings up an issue like this and says categorically, and I'm quoting Ras Mubarak, mm -hmm. who is MP for Kumbungu. Kumbungu. 
believes the money could have been invested in the provision of water and other basic George. amenities for rural communities, then it becomes a problem. George, that's playing on the keyboards of people's emotions. No, quoting, it is not. But quoting, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, um, you ask quoting, why it is an issue, and no. I'm telling you this is why it is an issue. Correct. Yes. Correct. It will be an issue mm-hmm. once when we adopt that part. But I am saying that at the moment we do not know whether 2 million cities is the actual sum that has been earmarked for this uh, campaign. We don't even know because the people who are supposed to have made the payment have come out to tell us that they have not made any such payment. They have paid to a 15% of a certain amount which we don't know. Mm-hmm. Parliament is the only place that we can get the answers to this matter. Why don't we wait for Parliament to finish its investigations? Ras Mubarak cannot run away from producing evidence uh-huh. to, back, to back his claim. To back his claim. That he has not done so as yeah. we speak. Let's wait for him to back before we start accusing people of having taken those amounts. Yeah. As for me, that is my issue. Yes. If, if he comes to back his claim, and then like the uh, chairman of PAC himself said, that checks would, 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 would reveal whether the proper procedure was uh, uh, followed in, in, in appointing the consultants, and the way and manner shattered them were also appointed and all that. When we get these facts, then we can sit down and start blaming this person or that person. Or we can start saying I things were not done right. What, there is um, a press release from the Exim Bank mm. that could help put our discussion oh, into um, some sort of perspective. Um, I think I chanced upon it sometime during the week. I think the date on it was um, the 30th. One second. I think the 30th. date on it. Yes, on the thirtieth of August. Yes. Of August. Yes. Before of August. this matter came out. Yes, exactly. Okay. There was a press release. It says, um, "Let me just quickly um, take a read, if you'd all indulge me." It says um, um, the management of Ghana Export Import Bank's attention has been drawn to varied reportage in the news media about a payment to the tune of two million CDs brand ambassadors. We used to state categorically that no amount of such magnitude has been paid to any ambassador or influencer. Mm-hmm. We further wish to state that the bank was invited by the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament mm-hmm. to appear before them on Wednesday, September 9, 2020, to answer. Mm-hmm. Certain questions pertaining to the operations of the bank between 2015 to 2017. Exactly. Issues raised by the Auditor General report within the stated period did not feature any item on the bank's intended campaign to promote made in Ghana products. However, as a forward looking development policy bank, we seek to invest in our people and businesses while projecting our very essence as a brand that facilitates international trade for and on behalf of Ghana. Our strategic interventions in Ghana's economy can be ascertained in the number of projects and initiatives that have been funded since 2017. Mm-hmm. We would like to state that part of Exim, that is part of G Exim's mandate, is to assist in the promotion of locally produced goods and services mm-hmm. to enhance export revenue generation, help reduce import, add value to raw materials for export, and create employment in the country. In view of this, a national call, the bank, in view of this, National call. Mm-hmm. The bank on Sunday, August 30th, 2020, launched a campaign dubbed Made in Ghana 4P. The 4P stands for encouraging Ghanaians to produce, promote, purchase made in Ghana products and services so we can prosper as a people and a nation. Mm goes further to say that um, to give this campaign at a higher scale and in consonance with promoting made in Ghana products and services, the bank, while following the requisite laid down procurement procedures, have contracted renowned Ghanaian artists as brand ambassadors and influencers. These artists are Mr. Kufi Edu Ejako and Ni Amamensa Charles Wale. They are known for the exemplary award winning exploits within our local creative arts industry and have earned international acclaim for their craft. Their role, simply put, is to give support. Now, this part is important. Mm-hmm. Their role, because A plus also asked, their role, simply put, is to give support credibility and belief in the made in Ghana agenda, mm-hmm. which is a personal passion point 
for them individually as well. These renowned brand ambassadors will be using their skill, brand equity, leverages, and the pool of their fund bases to garner the needed acceptance, adoption, and participation by Ghanaians in the Made in Ghana 4P campaign so that the products of the entities that we are lending monies to can be patronized for them to pay back and also energize the whole culture of buying and use a made in Ghana product in the country. The bank has not doled out two million to Shatawali. Mm -hmm. This allegation is factually incorrect and misleading. Please find up uh, the press release on the uh, you know uh, then right. there's other there nice are other one. details to that effect. Nice one. So we await Yeah Mr Ras Mubarak to come and going substantiate back to the his public claim. accounts committee and proving his allegation. Let then me bring, we can pick it up from pick it up. There. Let me pick Kwame Rasta um, uh, Kwame Rasta's thought. For me, yeah, um, my issue isn't about the amount of money. Because even if it is two million, oh, hold on yes. and let Kwame speak before you come to your. Issue. But I have to ask him a question. Okay, Kwame, you speak first. Your initial thoughts on this. Before you come to your issue. But I have to ask him a question. No, I'm you asking are, him a question. You, you, you are going. I'm leading him on. Okay, Kwame. Leading question. Sorry. Yes. Kwame, go ahead. Your thoughts. It's a near now, I don't want to say something. Okay, um, George, um, I, I've been busy in recent days, so I, I you haven't followed. Yes, um, there's small to <laughs> my life, <that's laughs> but um, with all due respect, I would want to find out uh, one or two things. Go ahead. Is there a case of a missing two million Ghana exactly. cities? Not yet. Okay. I seen there's an allegation. Listen, um, there's an allegation. Ras Mubarak's position, in all fairness, also makes sense. He's a Ghanaian looking out for the national purse and national Ras interest. Mubarak, yes. Honorable. Yes. Honorable. Makes sense to you, George Quay. That's what you're saying. Um, I'm sitting here as a host. If I'm George Quay on my social media page, my position is different. As a host right here, I have to be fair. Mm. So looking at it from Ras Mubarak's perspective, mm. he does have a point. It mm. is a public purse. I'm it is a tax. I'm looking for Ras Mubarak's point. Mm. Okay. So I make your point then. You, uh -huh. as a human being, yes. tax paying, yes. that you think in your head that the man makes sense. Oh, he's made his point. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. You couldn't. Okay. Now, quickly. Um, George Quay, you see... Kwame, Nobody you referred to Ras <laughs> Mubarak as honorable. Yes. You know, uh, Uncle the word... Uncle, 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 why are you interrupting? Let no, him no, land. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Please, please let him land first. No, Uncle Ken, I won't allow. Uncle Ken. Because I didn't allow you. No, you didn't allow me. Uh, Kwame Rasta, please continue. <laughs> 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 is it? Is it? Is it? Please, no, nobody no, should interrupt Kwame. Let Kwame speak. Let Kwame speak. Let Kwame speak. The point I'm trying to no, make. No, Uncle Ken, you make a agent. point. You had your time already. Kwame, please. The word please. No, Uncle Ken, the microphone is off. Please, Kwame, continue. I will say. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, yeah. um, the gentleman, um, I mean, I've, I've established a few things here that, first and foremost, no money has been reported stolen mm. from the vault of the Exim Bank. And so, it's more of an issue where somebody is uh, believed to have been paid uh, more than he must have worked for is valued mm -hmm. in the person persons of Shatawali and um, Ejedu. Um, what's his name? Ejako. Ejako. Um, I, I will be disappointed if just like the in fact, I am disappointed because I between Honorable um, Ras Mubarak is he is he an MP? Yes, yes that's okay. why you of call him on okay, okay, okay. Of I just wanted to um, and yeah. that is the point I wanted to make okay. that George didn't want me to make okay so before now you before you use the word mm -hmm. honorable mm -hmm. you must refer to his constituency okay. okay it is honorable member of parliament for Kumbungu not his person okay so can we can we share the like um the division of labor you come in with that and then i <laughs> yes i've it. just told you okay that is the right way to use the word thank you honorable. very much for the free he is honorable because he serves his constituents good and not his rightly person. so it is good for the, them and i mean for the republic of course so um i was coming to uh my disappointment now 
Exim Bank, between them and Ras Mubarak, then you continue. In your head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I trust the Exim Bank <laughs> statement that has been issued and read by George Quay. I do not know the Honorable Member of Parliament mm-hmm. for Kumbungu. I do not know him. Mm-hmm. And um, I am not really eager, keen on that. You know, Exim Bank is uh, I mean, a bank. So, my disappointment again is if indeed it is true that Shatta has not been paid that money. I believe that if there is any money to be paid to anybody between how many members of parliament do we have? 275? Yeah. And this is strictly my opinion. Hurry up quickly. Yeah. Between we have to go into the manifesto. The honorable members of parliament, which first two? Between mm-hmm. the members of parliament, all of them. <laughs> the word is parliament. Parliament. Uh-huh. Yeah. All of right. them. Like uh, and okay. Shatawali Yeah. Me. If we want anybody to bring some much needed attention to the um, chores or what it is that the Exim Bank does, mm-hmm. I would want to pay Shatawali who has a proven track record of having lived a life by his own wits and browns and intelligence, social media. Listen, he's, he's a hard-working young man mm. who has brought a lot of attention to Africa and Ghana. Mm. He has the track record. The number speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. So if he's being paid two million, mm-hmm. and I hope it is true, though I'm tempted to not believe, I think um, that should be an inst- inst- installment of the final figures that he's supposed to be paid. The two million should be yeah, if, if, an initial deposit. <laughs> so again, if anybody thinks that they would rather. And Nanam Pedu, there no disrespect to these legends. Mm-hmm. And uh, the names that the uh, MP mentioned, cited as, mm-hmm. uh, implied that they were better mm-hmm. um, ambassadors of, um, or would serve better mm-hmm. than a Charles Niyama mm-hmm. Shatawali. If anybody would want to pay them two million or anything at all, to do the kind of work that Shatter can do, then I think that the the fellow is he has some real issues or it's not very you know um, <laughs> like if I say it's not very correct is it? Uh, it's okay. Let's bring okay. Sadiq into the conversation. Then, so finally, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean Sadiq, Sadiq, uh, he's your party member. It is. Um, I'm surprised you are even still sitting here. <laughs> you see, when this news broke. <laughs> It was almost as if the government <coughs> has loaded money into a bullion van and drove it to a jackal's mm-hmm. house and offloaded it and then they fled. That was being trumpeted by. I saw him, this man, Sadi, <laughs> very excited. <laughs> hey, money, your money, they shut our in there. Your money, they shut You, 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 by extension, endorsing. Listen, oh, guys. Yeah, so which is which now? <laughs> <laughs> Everything <laughs> inclusive. <laughs> Daddy, the point is... Run up away. Yes, in yeah. wrapping up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's about time people educate themselves on 21st century ways of making money, leveraging um, um, brands within brands. To grow brands. You know? Yeah, it makes sense. So um, if, um, again, the Honorable MP is very illiterate on these things, um, he better brings the proof because we will be waiting. Okay. All right. We're going to be speaking to Jesse Ejepong as well on this subject matter very quickly. But before then, let's hear from Sadiq. Sadiq, what's your take on this? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know if, if it will be good to refer to our private conversation. Our uh, conversation. Oh, well, we should move forward. We should move forward. <laughs> Why? You right. had a private conversation. Oh, we had a private conversation. And no, no. What was ha- what to happen. Yes. Very good. We, we can go into it. Why in, not? In we can go into it. In connection with this yes. matter. Yes, it's in connection. Yes, so why not? L- let me give the background. Yeah. Oh, so let's ah, doesn't it concern me? <laughs> <laughs> he started it. Ah. No, I mean, but I mean, <laughs> when I saw, when <laughs> I felt that, uh, um, I, I mean, I listened to the audio and I followed as well. 
Um, I saw what Russ was wanted to do. Russ, in the interest of the public, uh, wanted to probe and then find out because he felt that um, there was some bit of a secrecy to it. Yeah. You know, and and so he wanted to just be able to find out. Typically, what he's uh, what he's required to do mm-hmm. within the law, he has the uh, that's at that point at the park. That's some of the things that he needs to do to yeah. ensure that. Um, to probe some of these the things. principles of public accountability works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To probe some of these things and ensure that there's judicious mm-hmm. use of the of money. So within that context, anybody that would want to, um, uh, what's it called, um, um, vilify Russ, I don't think it's been fair to Russ if we, I mean, if we have to speak about it. But that said, um, and again, I made a point on Joy Prime that even if Shatawali has been given two million cities. Um, I don't think it's his fault that he's been given two million cities. Oh, so you've made a um, comment on it? Yeah, on, on TV. Congratulations. I don't think that it's his fault that he's been given two million cities. And most importantly, I mean, as somebody that brings in the needed attention and the numbers, I mean, why not? I mean, Creative Arts, we've always made the point that has always been a vehicle to advance narratives. And so if, if it's within their mandate as an organization to be able to do some of these things, and indeed, they went ahead to give Shatawali two million cities. I mean, I didn't have a problem with it. However, the only other part, other position I added to it when I spoke on it was the fact that I remember that last year, October, yeah. the Ministry of Communic- uh, Tourism Creative Arts made a promise that by February 2020, for instance, there's going to be an Exim Bank fund um, um, ready for industry people to yeah. assess. You know, Also because we all know how creative products have assumed exportable status now. And so I also made a point that um, yes, Shatawali deserves it. Yes, Ejako, anybody that's also in there also deserves it. But I was making the point that if there was any extra money as well, um, I was thinking that also because the government hasn't said anything to us relative to the February 2020 promise, that as well should be um, availed to industry so that the industry people can also assess it to be able to, I mean, um, create this hospitable status as well. And that's what I said. So, yes, um, I don't think anybody needs to fall Shatawali. And, of course, in who who decides what what another another talent's value? Mm-hmm. That's Shatawali. That's his value. Mm-hmm. I mean, even Shatawali. I'm sure that Shatawali would even think that the two million is even above the two million cities and could end more. So within the context of that, I don't want to ask to go into the value of whether he deserves it or not. Why not? Because there's no question yes, there yes. at so all about not? the fact that he deserves it. <sighs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. There's no you question know. there. I don't so, think there's but a question. However, I also think Who that says there's no has. question there? Is there a question yeah. that Shatawale deserves two million as a brand ambassador? Some people feel so, George. And, and you but, know. But in my opinion, I don't think that, I mean... Good. It's a, yeah. I'm happy to hear... What is your opinion, Uncle Ken? I'm happy to hear... I would love to know this. What is your opinion? I am of a similar opinion. That he deserves it, that or he deserves it. it. That, then there's no debate. We're no, saying the but same I'm thing. saying that we might think so, but even you know from the post you had on Facebook yeah. well, there and the views comments on that, that there was came views. attacking you, and that is why we should educate why those people. Those people that. ought to be educated. Correct. 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 I agree. So let's so educate them. Yes, I, mean, I, can, I, I think that. I mean, what George. But if you say there's no question. That's why that's I... Another, that's, 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 and I'm trying to, an to tell you that there are questions. So, George, that's mm. what I'm saying that. I mean, we need to look at it from various sides. Of course, when we as creative people, and also because we are sitting here and making a case for the creative arts, mm-hmm. in that particular instance, I don't see anything wrong Correct. or anything wrong with um, giving Shatawale a certain amount to do a particular project. Mm-hmm. Like Particularly if you deliver that. Correct. Yes, you understand. And on the other hand as well, I don't want us vilifying Ras Mubarak for doing his work of trying to enhance nobody has vilified Russ. Yeah, no, I've seen commentary. Um, All Russ has to do that. is to provide evidence. Yeah. No, 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 but, no, but Uncle Ken, hold on. Let me Sadiq, 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 Sadiq let me ask you one that's question. That's what we are asking. Uncle Ken, hold on. One, one question for Sadiq. Uh, talking about vilification, do you also believe that it was right for Russ to actually suggest that other things were more important? No, that, I mean, that money should have okay. been used for, you know, like uh, basic amenities for rural communities instead of giving it to no, Shatawali? I can't speak to, I can't speak for Ras Mubarak and the basis, basis for saying that. Mm. And also for somebody that's always fighting for the creative arts, definitely I'll make a case for it. And in, within the context of that, I'll mm. say that Shatawali deserves the two million. Or mm-hmm. if you're going to put two million, because look, the creative arts space do not see these kind of funds from the state consistently. Correct. So if those, don't mind you, if 2 million cities advance to Shatawali, 
it's not only Shatawale. Shatawale has a team. Mm -hmm. Shatawale has a number of projects, has a number of things that he's going to do with. So Bulldog and all these other people and everything. Mind you as well, that money could help him create a new song and to be able to put out there and to be able to create value. So fine, me, I'm fine with that. You understand? But then again, nobody should vilify us from where he's also coming from. I mean, as MP and coming from Kumbungu, for instance, mm -hmm. for all you know, maybe he's been chasing a particular yeah. his constituency, he's been chasing mm -hmm. a particular borehole project mm -hmm. from, and maybe he's a uh, MP's common fund, mm -hmm. isn't enough for him to be able to do mm -hmm. so. So for mm -hmm. him as well, as speaking for his people from Kumbungu, he's probably also making a case for them. In the same ways, we are equally making a case for Shatawala in the creative art space. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I, I, I think it would be um, a bit of unfair to try to position Ras Mubarak or shine him under a certain negative spotlight for sort of. I mean, asking very legitimate questions as well. Exactly. Regardless of that, we think. I well, also. I, I, I think. I think so. I also think that, um, just like we're doing, let's 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 not in our fight to elevate and position the creative us. Let's not also delineate others as well. Oh, who yes. are also doing other work of national importance. I agree with you, Sadiq. I don't agree with Sadiq. Not public, public funds. Funds. Agree with Hold Whenever on. there is a user, your public funds. Mm -hmm. We need to interrogate. Uncle yes. Ken, scrutiny I will tell enough. you. Scrutiny I will tell you so why. I don't so have that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have that. Gentlemen, hold on. Deserves the money. Gentlemen, hold on. Have gentlemen, hold on. For me, even if you know receive answer, they forgive them the money. All I am asking of one voice, one voice, one voice, please, one voice. Uncle Ken, hold on. The microphones are off. Uncle Ken, the microphone is off. Uncle Ken, hold on. The microphone is off. Let us have one voice. Yes. When we all speak, our listeners will not hear us. Uh, it's only once in a while. Uncle Ken, yeah, has, yeah, yeah. Made, Uncle Ken has made his point. He's asking Russ for evidence. Evidence. Let us go to the phone lines. We're trying to read Jesse Ejepong on the phone lines. I think we have him now. Hello? Mr. Ejepong. Hey, George, how are you, sir? We are very well, sir. And Jesse Ejepong, of course, everybody knows Jesse Ejepong. Mm. He used to be head of marketing at Tigo, one of Ghana's finest brands and communications yes. expect. And Jesse, you have worked with brand ambassadors in your entire career. Um, what is your take on this um, Exim Bank money that has allegedly been given to Shatawali? And um, some, someone like Ras Mubarak said he thought the money could have been used for other more relevant things like providing amenities for rural areas other than giving it to Shatawali. Uh, okay, so, so George, I, I think the, the question that you've asked me, right, seems like a leading question. So it seems like you, you are looking for an expected answer. No, not at all. I would, what I want is your opinion on the okay. entire subject matter. And then that so, part of it is a different part of the question, that this is a, a statesman's opinion okay, on a sure. creative, yes. So let's, let, like I always do, let's, let's try and take a step back. Um, and I'm coming into the conversation from a business perspective and as somebody who's been in the industry a little bit. So I am seeing three parts of the discussion. The first part is the business part of the conversation, which is the exam back discussion. The second part is the value the artist is, is being given and as to whether the artist deserves the value. And the third part is the impact of paying the artist so far as the creative art industry is, is concerned and whether or not he earning that would change the payment structure within the system. Now, uh, George, again, to situate the discussion, I think it is important to, for, for us to understand if we say that ambassadors must promote Exim Bank, what does that mean? Now, if you go online, um, there's a story that I chanced on which said that uh, I think about eight months ago, Exim Bank had secured $100 million to help invest in the local industry. Now, keep that budget in mind. Now, to invest it in Ghana, um, the focus was given to them, as an example, to invest in the pharmaceutical sector. So there were about seven companies within the pharmacy sector they had to invest in. That is number one. And number two, there were about 150 one district, one factory companies they had to also invest in. Question is this. If one district company went to Shatawale for brand ambassadorship, how much would they be charged? And how many brands was Shatawale as an individual supposed to be promoting? And how was the charge done? Now, if you start from that perspective, you understand the scope of the discussion so far. So that is number one. Yeah. Number two, it is easier for you to say that the two million is too much without understanding what percentage of the total marketing spent the two million is and what the total marketing spend was supposed to deliver. So if I come to you, George, and I say, give me one CD. You will say, what do you get in return? 
And I would say I would give you 10 Ghana cities. Then the one Ghana city doesn't become a big budget of a sort. So now, again, let's go back. Exim Bank has borrowed 100 million Ghana, Ghana cities. From a business perspective, there are those who argue that if you talk about your debt to revenue ratio, it should not be, say, above 36%. So let's assume that the top line that the Exim Bank was looking for by investing in these businesses should be something north of $200 million. So if we are looking for a $200 million injection in the economy by the investment that Exim Bank is doing, question is, what is $2 million to $200 million? Mm -hmm. Again, if you take a look at $2 million Ghana cities as a percentage or as a fraction of what the total consultancy was paid, and again, I, 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 heard, I heard you say that Shatawale may have been paid as an individual by Exim Bank, which I would doubt. Now, the, the reason I would doubt that is the fact that Exim Bank engaged the consultant to give them a plan as to, as to drive the value within the market. No, no, that wasn't and, the idea at all. That was just to let Uncle Ken understand that in certain transactions, there are direct happen. dealings, but not in I this, think, because Exim Bank has made I it clear think, that they worked that's with a consultant. That, that's what I think. Yeah, yes, they, I no, they made it clear they worked yeah, with a consultant in this case. So mm-hmm. we are, we are abreast yeah. of that fact, yeah. So, so, so every individual who's ever gone through a government tendering process, the same way that the PR agency went through, and if they went through competitive bidding, which I, I am assuming they did, the PR agency may have submitted a detailed plan and their suggestion of artists who fit again, like I mentioned, the 150 districts, the 150 factories that the Exim Bank will be investing in. Exactly. And they won the contract. So if the Exim Bank rep or the finance director went to the floor of parliament and said as an example that he has not cited a check of two million going to Shatawale, he could be right. Exactly. Because obviously, if he has paying yeah. the consultant, they could be paying the consultant, say, 20 million Ghana cities. Right? Exactly. So it's within a two-year window, and within that 20 million Ghana cities, George, there will be channel development for the district factories. There will be production costs for the district factories. There will be the ambassadorship cost for the, for, to promote the district factories. Exactly. There will be advertising costs. There will be event costs. There will be research costs. And then there will be PR costs. So whilst we can sit in the studio and hold hands and, 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 and sing Kumbaya about 2 million Ghana cities, the real value or the real cost of promoting our factories in a district could potentially be 10 million Ghana cities or exactly. 20 million Ghana cities. Now, my thinking is this, that if my math is right and the Exim Bank has borrowed $100 million, million, I would say that the returns we are looking for will not be south of $200 million. And therefore, if I'm paying even $20 million total, to drive the top line that I'm looking for, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That is number one. Number two is this. When I worked in Guinness Ghana Breweries Limited, your sales and marketing cost as a percentage of your NSV, which is your net sales value, could potentially be, be about 5 to 7%. Yeah. Again, when I worked in Tigo, the, the sales and marketing cost as a percentage of your top line was about 8%. So if, as an example, and again, I'm giving you an example, if Exim Bank, through its factories is setting up, is hoping that they might see a hundred million injection from those factories, and they have, a, a, say, a target of 10% to spend to promote made in Ghana goods, that technically means that they have a budget of 10 million to spend. Now, 10 million to spend, which is a 10% ceiling, it's an okay budget. Exactly. To drive the value that you are looking for. Right. So for me, I, I'm, I'm completely uncomfortable with having the conversation and focusing the conversation on Shatawale earning 2 million Ghana cities. If Exim Bank's investment within the sector will deliver a value of 10 million Ghana cities, then it absolutely makes no sense to pay Shatawale 2 million Ghana cities. Yep. But if Exim Bank's investment within the sector will deliver, say, as an example, minimum, assuming that we are breaking even at $100 million, then 2 million Ghana cities may be uh, as a fraction of a 10 million Ghana cities total marketing spend. It's not an issue. George, number two, uh, sorry, number three is this. I've worked with artists in Ghana. And I, I feel honestly a little bit disappointed, right? That maybe the team in um, um, Exim Bank yeah. probably didn't, didn't find it prudent to carry people on a journey. And especially if you've appointed a communications consultant to help you drive the journey. So let, let me basically give you a breakdown as to how Shatawale could potentially earn, say, 2 million Ghana Ghana cities. When I worked in Tigo, right, Shata was being paid, let's say as an example, and maybe they might hate me for, for this, 
But sometimes on some, on some shows, he was paid 70,000 Ghana cities or 80,000 Ghana cities, right? Okay. So let's assume that Shaka, out of the 150 um, district factories that are being set up, we say that Shaka is responsible for promoting 20 of those brands. Now, to be ambassador for 20 brands is no joke. So let's say we pay him, say, 500,000 Ghana cities at Shaka. Then as part of the contract, we have, he's supposed to organize 10 concerts to promote the product. If Shaka is charging you 100,000 cities per concert times 10, that alone is a million Ghana cities. So let's assume that he's not even charging 100,000 Ghana cities and he's charging, say, Siddiq, Siddiq might confirm or deny. Let's say he's charging, say, um, 50K, right? 50K right. for 10 events alone. That's another 500,000 Ghana cities. Now, if you say to me that Shaka should be doing some international concerts, right? And he's supposed to travel to Brussels or travel to France to go and engage there. And he's supposed to travel business class. Now, all those are factored in the cost. So sometimes, in the books of Exim Bank or in the books of the consultants, it could be that the value for, Sh- for Shatawale is 2 million Ghana cities. However, the actual cash that he might get could potentially be 700,000 Ghana cities. Mm. He might receive products of 200,000 Ghana cities. Exactly. He might travel business class of 100,000 Ghana cities. You're right. And so when you accumulate that, his value might be 2 million. It may not necessarily be cash. Exactly. So I, 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 I need Exim Bank, the Exim Bank team to understand that when the people who are asking the questions are not asking the questions out of hatred. In, information is needed. And the, the, the intention to engage with Shatter to drive these district factories is important. But the consultant needs to learn how to carry people on a journey. Let me give you a last example. Yes, that, that's, to that'll Nanda, be, Nanda, we, we need Nanda to be Nanda wrapping Nanda. it up so we can get no, into no, no, a, I'll, yes, I'll wrap up. very quickly. Yeah. So I, I listened to Nanda, Nanda Moa on Joy News, right? Yeah. And he was holding the, the government's document on where the districts they've set up are. And people were saying to them, say, where is the district? Where is the district? Now, if you are strategic in nature, and indeed, Exim Bank supported any of these district factories. And Shatawale, five months ago, had picked one of the district factories and said that, oh, I am Shatawale. I had a chop cake from George, um, George, George Abuaje's factory in Edusa. It answers a future question of somebody asking you where are the factories. Because you have seen Shatawale already promoting the product. Cellular on their path to have activated that. It's why they now have to explain to people where the factories are. So the strategy hasn't, hasn't worked. And I, I feel that next time, they need to learn how to use the ambassadors, carry them on a journey, and to promote the factories which are in the district. And, and to ensure that we are being carried on a journey. So this will be my two cents, unless you have another question. No, um, I would, we have more, but I would, and I'm enjoying the education. But unfortunately, Philip Nye is on my neck. He wants to kill me because we're out of time. We have one other major topic to go into. So what we are going okay. to do is we are going to relax and see how this week would pan in relation to this particular subject matter. And then we'll see if we can reconvey next Saturday to have a more robust discussion. Jesse, thank you so very much for the education. And hey, Shatawale just Jesse, sent sir. me a message. He said, hi, he's enjoying your lecture. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, Jesse, thank, thank you, you very much. Yes. Jesse, thank you very yes. much. Always that is amazing. the man, Jesse Amo Ejepong. Um, Sadiq, we are wrapping it up on this yeah, one. It's interesting yeah. that even before he even before he was given the full money, mm. he started bringing sh- spotlights to Exim Bank already. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's already doing his work. That's how he used that's the how, brand. That's, yeah. how, that's, how, that's how he's been able to do But George, that another question I needed sorry. to ask. Oh, sorry. Rasa, okay, sorry. yeah. I wish that, um, what's his name, Jesse's mm-hmm. intervention mm-hmm. could be sent via WhatsApp to. Honorable Ras Mubarak. Uh, uh, let, let's move on. Yeah, Ras, it's okay. <laughs> Don't mind them. Sadi, uh, continue. That, that it's okay. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was going to say that, I mean, yeah. the, I mean the, we are caught between Exim Bank, um, Shatawale. There seems to be a mystery about this so-called agency and, I mean, who they are, in fact, and what they actually... Uh, it will all be doing. revealed yes, well, at PAC. Yes. So, eventually, I mean, if it comes out, I mean, we would discuss it. Oh. But I, I, was just, I was just curious that I mean, for I mean, Exim Bank, for instance. I mean, if if you're going to if you're investing in businesses, I hear that mm. they are, the mm. whole campaign is for Shatawale to bring some spotlight mm. to this. Uh, I, I read it from their, their press document. They, sh- they get the mandate. Mm. If these organizations are also individual organizations mm. that assess funding, aren't they supposed to be in charge of their own promotions? Sometimes, like when you are the mother company exactly. and you have a particular communication direction and you don't want it spread. 
you know, better off being the one's hand son. That is why when you look at these Diageos and some of these multinationals mm-hmm. in the country, mm-hmm. they are sitting here, but they cannot work with Image Bureau because their mother company sitting in Sweden or somewhere I saw that them you can only work with this advertising mm-hmm. agency because they know the communication mm-hmm. direction mm-hmm. where uh, you know mm-hmm. that they have. No, so but that's like parent yeah. company of Guinness, but this is more. Oh, 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 oh it's the same. It's the same. Oh, it's the same. Oh, it is my money, and this is how I wanted communicated. <laughs> George, uh, and my last word. On oh, we're we're, we're done. Uh, okay. But I haven't said it. Everybody but you said it. Or, uh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, please, please go ahead. I'm asking. Yeah. If Ras had not raised this issue. Yeah. As a public interest. As a public interest. As a public interest question. Yeah. At PAC, yeah. would we have known about Probably it? not, so it's all good. Thank you. Yes, so we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, Sadiq, the manifesto for the people. <laughs> yeah. walk, walk us through it quickly so that we can, we can, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't uh, yeah, I mean, we don't have a lot of time, but let us walk through it so we can, anyway. no, go ahead, go um, ahead, I mean. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I mean, um, we've been on the road this weekend trying to carry on the good message of the manifesto and then most importantly um, our plan for the creative economy I mean as it were um, a number of um, ideas that <coughs> highlights the aspirations and needs of industry I mean on the basis of interactions and feedback that we gathered from an uh, industry and that's more reason why we've I mean tagged it as the people's manifesto because you, 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 you have 17 promises yeah, I mean, more than that, even. Um, mm. The way it's been structured, I think that what came out initially from that side, you saw the 17 ones, but there's been other parts of it, for instance, like the upgrade of Nafti. Yeah. It's under big push, for mm. instance. And then there's the... George, can you rush film. The time? So that, that one, I don't, that, that one I don't even put on the creative arts. I put it on education. No, anyway, no, but, so but, 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 but in, in the way so actually he's right. That we pres- presented it. We have just about twenty minutes mm-hmm. left, so we're gonna <sighs> ration it. I'm giving you from now till 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 the, well, the next. The next you have from like f- up to like forty two thereabouts. He's spoken enough. So go ahead. Yeah. Give yeah. you two minutes. Yes. No, no, up to forty two. So go ahead. The way this is you are wasting the time. No, I'm just surprised. <laughs> what's happening here. Don't mind them. Yeah. Don't mind them. You know, work with like me. Don't worry. Yeah. Me and <laughs> oh, yeah. Sadiq, yeah. work with yeah. me. Yeah. Don't mind them. Yeah. Work yeah. with me. Yeah. Yo, anyway. They are wasting your time. Yeah, so work with me. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, George, like I said, I mean, a number of um, ideas. One of the key points that we want to be able to do is to be able to once again elevate uh, the narrative of um, creative economy within. Um, the governance and policy space, um, with, I mean, which follows from what we did in 2013, the addition of the um, <laughs> arts ministry to uh-huh. the tourism. Oh, um, uh, Uncle Cannon, uh, Rasta, please, let's the allow tourism, Yeah, uh, yeah. Ministry. Your mics are, uh, you know the mics are alive. So. Similar thing with a yeah. new ministry for creative and digital economy, yeah. um, which is to be able to drive that, I mean, mindset shift and the commit, stress the commitment of um, the party um, towards our plan to enable and empower the creative economy. Um, one of the other things that we're also looking to do is that the media space is a very important one for us. The broadcasting space is a very, very important one for us. There's the need. The broadcasting bill has been in Parliament for some time. There's a need to be able to um, see to the passing of that bill because in the draft that actually even exists, there's a number of areas that it touches on, which is all to the good of the general um, entertainment or creative arts industry. Um, there's a part of the broadcasting bill, for instance, an element of it, for instance, that deals with copyright um, and then licensing regime towards, I mean, logging copyright and the payment that goes to um, people whose copyright content, copyrighted content are uh, used in the media. And one of the other part of it as well is the media development fund that it comes with. Mm-hmm. And then one of the major ones for us is um, our promise to upgrade NAFTA into a fully fledged university for film, arts, theater, and music. And there's a more reason why it's captured under our big push, for instance, because um, in the ways we're thinking about it, we're not thinking about it relative to just a name change or span, expansion of, of the scope. But most importantly, it, we wanted to come with the necessary investment in sound stages, studios, and all of that befitting of a national universities in the way that we delivered with other uh, universities. We've seen the Somania project, the university. We've seen the UHAS as well. This is some of the things that we want to be able to do I mean, expand the scope as much as possible. But the the principle behind this, and I've always made the point here, that you cannot develop an industry without the thought leadership and the scholarship element of it. There's a need to bridge academia and industry to be able to, you know, 
produce the next batch of industrial professionals and leaders. Again, mm. um, we're promising to provide seed money for the creation of a special fund for artists, including aged and needy creative talents. Um, also, to facilitate the enrollment of creative artists onto the informal pension scheme. Um, one of the other ones that's also very important for us, which ties into copyright, is to set up a system of legal aid for creative artists to help fight um, creative and intellectual theft and plagiarism by others. You know, um, as it were, one of the things that has made it difficult for people whose content or whose um, rights are infringed upon to pursue actions, really, is the is a lack of legal support to be able to pursue some of these things. And so these are some of the things that we also want to be able to do. Um, we also want to be able to, again, Exim Bank here, facilitate the placement of hospitable <laughs> creative arts for that for sales digitally with support from partners such as the Exim Bank. You mm-hmm. know, we established the Exim Bank with a certain intention. I mean, just before, I mean, we left um, government, part of what the Exim Bank was supposed to do was to be able to add value to exportable product, which included creative product. Kente is a uh, creative product, which is a portable music, film, um, I've lately assumed a portable status. I've, within the week, always been making the point that, within the week, I've always been making the point that, for somebody like Peter Sedi, for, for instance, who produced a single movie last year, Obviously, uh, making fans accessible for him because of the total nature of his movie to produce a number of extra, I mean, movies, I mean, would we'll see him creating more wealth and as it were, creating more jobs. And which is also important, also because our manifesto for this year, I mean, stresses the point we've always been making about doing all of these things to be able to create more wealth and create more jobs um, for um, Ghanaians. Again, so Beautiful. we also want to be able to. Um, strengthen regulation to protect the copyright of artists, ensure that they get value for their works by enforcing the payment of the user fees under copyright regulations 2010. And this is something that we've also uh, been stressing this week, particularly also because of our connection to Wallace's case, for instance. Um, this week, we got a point about uh, Wallace's music that was played at yeah. the manifesto launch. Mm-hmm. Um, we checked in, the creative artist quickly checked in and realized that it was, also play, it was just played in... Uh, in a documentary okay. that was at, I think it was split for like 30 seconds. But then again, this has synchronization rights. And so when we realized that, realized that the permission has not been properly sought, we, we saw that there was a breach. And so we've been in touch with uh, Wallace's team also to stress the commitment that we've always been making to try to resolve this and ensure that Wallace is duly compensated for that particular infringement. And, you know, that's just... Uh, so these are just to sum up some of the highlights. Some of the highlights of, of the manifesto. To, not bad. To, but not these bad. are very important. And like I said, all of these things ties into a bigger goal of you doing all of these things to create more wealth and create more jobs for Ghanaians. Well done. Thank you very much. Sadiq Ablai, congratulations on your nominations as the official mm-hmm. spokesperson Appoint- for appointment like as the official that. spokesperson yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, together with um, Brexoma, um, you know, as far as the creative art is concerned. For the NPP, you have done great. Keep it up. And we've also the been joined NPP by, the uh, sorry, for the NDC. Thank you very much for that correction, Uncle Ken. Uh, we've also been joined by Anoda Samwabidu. Anno, good afternoon. Yes, well, How are you doing? I'm good. Welcome, 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 welcome. Rasta, mm-hmm. uh, very quickly, uh, wha- you, you heard Sadiq. Uh? Very quickly. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm just looking at the clock. That's a problem. Uh, so we have to be realistic. Stop looking at it. Uh, y- Let's go. Oh, friend, uh, yeah. um, listen, mm-hmm. the fact that Sadiq, and congratulations again yes. this morning. I congratulated yes. you on um, TV3. Yeah. On your appointment. It's well deserved. You've, you have suffered and long may it continue. <laughs> suffer for it. Um, Go you on. and Rexuma. Yeah. yeah. Listen, um, what it is is you cannot come and sit here <coughs> and make it seem as if you people have seen the light and have not been accused of intellectual property theft by a musician <laughs> Wallace. You cannot sit here. In fact, you shouldn't do it again that you go anywhere and arrogate yourself the powers of mercy because what you guys did is never done in the history of human decency, especially for done? especially for persons who uh, position yourself as being... Um, that, that's in that book that you're holding, what is it? The manifesto, no? You supposed to get some creative digital or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 that thing you they talk about. Mm-hmm. People who do not eh, steal or who are not accused of having stolen music, mm. Mm, it is those people, those pious people, it is them that walk around and say, yes, we are going to establish a creative... Where, where stolen music here means what? 
Wallace, have you not heard the news? <laughs> well, well, relax. I'm, you are interrupting me. Yeah, but you mean to try and it's my turn to, to do with reach out to. Treatment. Listen, Nanado didn't send me here. Nobody from the MPP has asked me to speak on behalf of the party. They don't give me the lawyer for it. They don't give me the lawyer for it to come here. But I am saying that if the NDC have brought a uh, reading or um, uh, explaining their manifesto promises in essence of 18 promises, they do not have any moral rights based on the fact that you, as we speak, have not um, disassociated, um, you've not done anything to um, rid yourself That's of... Right. No, no, no. That's, hold that's, on, hold that's on, hold on. That's not factual. You have stated attempts you have made no, from your not, camp. No, that's we not We do not have Wallace to confirm that indeed. But you had the whole day today to confirm. You well, said it in the morning. What make I go look for Wallace? No, uh, but I mean, of course, why would I come to lie about... I'm not saying you're lying. I'm saying I'm not heard from Wallace. No, so... Okay, so I cannot... I cannot... In as much as we... I mean, we are concerned, Wallace is the one who threw the first salvo, accusing you people of having stolen his music. Can we call Wallace? Is it possible? No. Yeah, we'll try to see if we can raise him. But we don't have the time. I am calling on the NDC to do the needful... And just... Point five million Ghana for the, CDs for the for for Okay. He deserves it. Let he me bring Uncle Ken into the conversation. You've made your point. I'm playing on him. No, no. Exactly. Uh, Rasta, uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I think Rasta has made his point. Let's bring Uncle Ken into the conversation. Yeah, so we go on. <laughs> Uncle Ken, quickly. <laughs> Sarika and Rasta, quiet, please. Let's see Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken, please come in. George, yes. George, yes. thank you. Um, uh, I think that it's unfortunate we don't have too much time. Yes, it is. Deeper into it. No, no. We have next week. No, we have next week. Yeah, we have next week. But all I want to say is. Next week, you will find some time. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> by all means. You know that already. No, not already. I'm enjoying. Yes. Uh, don't worry. Let's go on, Uncle Ken. Quickly, yeah. I think that this back and forth about manifestos from the political party, yeah, about various uh, sectors, yeah, is something that uh, is not helping us as a country. Mm -hmm. I think that we should set national goals, like A plus said, huh? For yes, I agreed with him. It's yeah. it's here yeah. so that. Any party that comes into government follows those goals to achieve the objectives. For instance, we are trying to set up a creative sector, uh, a creative, uh, what's it called? Council or agency. Yeah, creative arts council. Or, or agency, as they claim. I think that it is incumbent on the agency when it is set, set up to look at issues involving the sector, come up with a blueprint on what the sector needs. So that we put that blueprint out there. Any party that comes into government follows that blueprint. So that we do not have these back and forth discussions as to who is uh, thinking of doing this and who is stealing somebody. Sorry? In this case, there was consultations involving the yes. sector. I'm saying there were con uh, involving the sector. an idea of what the sector needed. Okay, it gives you an idea of what the sector needs. But what about the other party? Are they also doing they, the same they, thing they as forgot. you are doing? That's no, why I'm saying that they forgot. Let <laughs> yes. the most important thing is for us to get the laws together. Exactly. So we go by the laws. If it is the creative uh, uh, sector law, we go by it. Just like we should be going by the uh, National Development, development, yes. development yes. of Film and Classification Act. Mm. Those are the things we need to be followed because otherwise every time we'll come we and sit here policy. and Sadiq will go and earn himself a position mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and be taking monies without seeing me and, and or talking plenty, talking plenty yeah, all over the place. Now. Let's bring another small video into the conversation. I think um, that might be our last point for the day so that would wrap up on that one. I know uh, you came late, but we've had we've touched on a number of issues. We've touched on Dras Mubarak Shatawali two million. We uh, had a conversation with A plus, and we're just wrapping up on the NDC manifesto. But would compare them two manifestos properly uh, next week. You know, question. yes, uh, I know. Yes, to, uh, Sadiq. Uh, oh yeah, Jesse, Jesse. Yeah, yes. yeah. 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 Please get closer Always to your microphone. Yeah. Very, very insightful yes. uh, contribution yeah. to the discussion. So big up yeah. to him. Yeah. Um, with regard to Satawali plus eh, Satawali Mubarak, I think you guys have, have uh, discussed it thoroughly, so there's there's no need going into it. But the fact is, um, I think yesterday, right, George? Yes, doing, yesterday. Um, what, what the Public what Accounts Committee yeah. meeting no, 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 or which one? Uh, Evan Mason. Oh yes, this is, uh, that's um, PM Express. And the oh no no yesterday not Ghana, the one Ghana Connect, Ghana Connect yeah Ghana Connect, Ghana Connect the point yeah. was made that one of the reasons why a lot of people were 
were astounded or were amazed or agitated for Satawali allegedly getting two million was the fact that you see over the period we in the creative industry we've had this um, attitude of not disclosing the deals that we make regards to the money and so when you see or you hear Shatawali getting two million five million become like really but over the period I'm sure a lot of artists in engaging in endorsement deals and brand projection have been getting more than this but the some this apathy of we not being able to disclose figures and for me I think it's a problem we should be we should move away from that culture because at the end of the day, we want to project the industry onto a certain pedestal. Mm-hmm. We want it to be given a certain level of recognition, regard and respect. If we are putting such amounts out, I'm sure... We, it wouldn't have been a big deal by now. No, it wouldn't have been. But because we do not always, we, we, the failure or inability of our people to actually put the figures out, it becomes a problem. But you know what I find strange, Arnold? Even next door Nigeria, you know they put out the figures. They do. Nigerians put out the figures, and even in my research for this show, I even got some very interesting figures from some top Nigerian artists. Um, there was um, P Square got 180 million naira. Um, I think it was um, a deal with Glo Globacom. Uh, Debanj got 160 million naira, also yep. with Globacom, yep. and it's all out there. Whiskey, Yanya, and all those things. The figures are there. But you know, you, you guys are also this part of the problem. Which guys? As an event organizer. When I, well, as an estimate journalist, when I approach you and yeah. ask you, George, you yeah. signed a deal with this artist, how yeah. much was it? You will not disclose it to me. Let's be frank. No, but there are non-disclosure uh, agreements agreement. that we signed. I've, okay. Had, okay. I've been confronted with these things, mm. and I'm like, yo, you know, uh, doc, um, is it the Anani gentleman, Richard Anani, right. uh, um, um, disclosed the 15%, yes. and then I winced because I'm like, I yo, if, if Shata is listening, and indeed he signed an NDA, no, he could so take they, them on and collect an extra two million mm, and walk away. Mm. So but sometimes are, there are that. non-disclosure mm. agreements that, mm. like in the Glow situation mm-hmm. with the Cadbury's, with um, what else, we had we could not disclose. Okay. So maybe we should look at it from the other exactly. side. Too, you I mean, know? I, mean I, I, I appreciate where you are coming from mm. because where I sit, I'm mm. blaming you, the artist money. Yes, you've been on my case for this particular thing. Oh, yes. oh, you you've been consistent yes. with yo, your frustrations. Yes. That we need to disclose the figures. What is it? Uh, we are also saying that mm-hmm. I don't want to even go to court. And I mean, so moving forward, for like you're saying, yeah. we need to fix it. So, or you, you guys are afraid that when you do not, you object or reject an NDA in the contract, yes. you lose it. Is that, is that the problem? No, you see, you don't even want to know why or what will happen to your small money or your fortune yeah. if you are disregardful of um, the, the NDA that you have signed. You yeah. read, you understood, you signed. Yeah. Now you go and stand somewhere and then you disclose. What is wrong with you? Just quick one on the... Yeah, uh, very quickly, we're wrapping up. Society. Yeah, and big ups. So but you see, there are are challenge. And I know one thing before. Yeah. We are going to discuss this NDC manifesto in detail. We haven't given it enough time, in all fairness. Mm-hmm. We give the NPP manifesto a lot of time. Yeah. And in all fairness, we haven't done the same for this NDC manifesto. We and we have to. Yes, exactly. Philip. Exactly. We haven't done that one as well. And we need to give this manifesto equal. Because, look, yeah. uh, there are things in there that are very, very interesting, which I love. So we have to look yeah, at it. So I'll wrap it up. Well, no, I won't. We'll have to give it at the same time. Yes, we'll do it next week. We'll do it next week. It looks... Most of the things that they place in the manifesto, yeah. they, they look achievable. Yes, and must be yes. in all honesty. Because I mean, if you tell me that you are going to renovate the National Museum yeah. and create a room for exhibition, exhibition um, um, space, yeah. for me, I think it's more uh, doable. practical, doable, than mm. saying you fix a large, a large uh, what do you call it? Ultra-modern. Ultra-modern. Conference. Pull that boy back. <laughs> pull that boy away from the microphone. <laughs> so for me, yeah. I mean, some, some. I mean, yeah. And again, you also see some commitments that were promised in 2012. And exactly. Were, you understand? So it, it gives you the idea. So what's the guarantee? They, they promised yeah. in 2012. Yeah. Couldn't fix it. What's yeah. the guarantee they will fix it? He has a problem with that, but he doesn't want the manifesto. He thinks that the manifesto is much ado about nothing. Meanwhile, Who he has a problem doesn't? with what is in the manifesto. Gentlemen, <laughs> Uncle Ken, uh, let, uh, Arnold, are you done yeah, cool. for now? So we're going to continue this conversation on the NDC Manifesto next week. Uh, message says, um, George, this has been one of the best showbiz A to Z shows. Entertainment players have a huge role to play in Ghana, and I urge you all to do so by saying things as they are and not be afraid. God help you guys. God help Ghana. Kujo, Kujo says, it's a shame this is happening. Did you not discuss NPP Manifesto and what it had to do with the creative arts? Oh, Kujo, don't worry. Like I've said, we do promise you we're going to delve deep into it next week. You know, don't worry. We'll delve deep into it. Deep, deep, deep. 
Oh, no, no. It is very important. Nobody can say it's not important. Deep, uh, we are going to go deep into it. That I promise you. And we'll do that next week. Gentlemen, thank you so very much for being a part of today's show. It's been very insightful. Thank you to Kwame A+. Plus. Thank you to um, Jesse Amwe Japong. Uh, thank you, Kwame Rasta. Thank you, Anno. Thank you, Uncle Ken. And thank you, Sadiq. Yes, what are you saying? Nini and Ivy and Jane. Very they are listening. Ardent. Okay. They are not my sisters. <laughs> ardent listeners. Ardent listeners of the and show. I, uh, good evening to them. Thank we you very much. You. I will see them. <laughs> and let me also say a very, very, very happy birthday to you, Juliet of the Late Night Clan. Thank you very much. And um, and to um, oh, there's another gentleman who is also celebrating his birthday uh, on the Late Night Clan. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating your birthday in the Late Night Clan. God bless you all. And um, I do hope you have a blast. Showbiz A to Z proudly brought to you by MTN. Don't forget to choose your own bundle, your own way with MTN Flex Bundle. Just dial star 138 hash and enjoy bundles that do not expire. Here is Gloria Estefan. Rhythm is going to get you after this break.